Is your swan too moist? Here come the hens. Ah yes, it's poopy time. The best time of the day. I'm having a lot of fun doing this poo poo. Oh no. I totally forgot that the supermarket was completely sold out of toilet paper. But I have finished my poo poo, and I have nothing upon which to wipe my bottom. Whatever shall I do? What on earth? A whimsical sprite? Chill out silly. Look around you. Anything can be toilet paper if you use your imagination. Why that mysterious little fellow was right. All it took to clean my bottom was the power of my imagination. Is your giraffe too dry? <laughs> I was working in the morgue late one night when I opened a drawer and saw a spooky sight. The corpse inside was wearing no pants, so I dragged him out and we started to dance. They did a dance. We did a forbidden dance. They did a dance. It was boogie time. They did a dance. His limbs were drooping. They did a dance. It was a forbidden dance. Around the morgue we danced and twirled, oblivious to the outside world. I could even ignore that he had started to whiff. It was a private waltz between a man and a stiff. When his head fell off, I thought that was it. The dance was over and it was time to quit. Instead, I scooped him up and stuck his head on with glue and made him wear a hat that was really a shoe. They did a dance. We did a forbidden dance. They did a dance. He had a shoe on his head. They did a dance. He didn't care because he was dead. They did a dance. We did a forbidden dance. Unfortunately, I'd been careless, you see. My boss had installed closed circuit TV. He watched back the footage when he came into work, reported me to the county club. They did a dance. We should not have danced. They did a dance. 
you shouldn't dance with a corpse, especially if you value your career. I now share a cell with a man named Greer. Hello, I'm Paul Gannon. And I'm Eli Silverman. And this is Cheap Shows, your Envision 2023. Roll the credits. I'm singing, let's have a party tonight. We've got the hits, some good, some shit, with a little bit of mystery. We need the votes, of course we don't, but we need your lovely company. We're loving your company. Come and join us for your envision. It's thrilling, oh, we're singing. Let's have a party tonight! Ooh, baby, I got you. So, is it my bit now? No, you don't, you're not feeling this year, mate. What was your shit? So, fuck off. I'm singing. No, I can do a little dance or something. No. No, I wants to watch the, the, the shit. Go off. I'm not no. singing it this year. No, this is shit. This is my big moment. Go away! I've been practicing this for... <laughs> Leave the minute before we go. No, no, we're not doing What's that. What's in that, everybody? No, no, no. We're going to do the yeah. bit. What's in that, everybody? No one wants to know about ah. the thing. Piss off! I let you finish the song. No, come on, I'll do this. Get it. Get the back there. Get it. Some good time it. shit. Stand the back. <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's listen to the audio. Which way is it gonna go? Oh. It's the your invasion. Blood the your invasion. It's your invasion tonight. Ah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, turn off. No, that's on the podcast. I'm going to need to turn this off. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Cheap Show. This is your invasion 2023. I am Paul Gannon. Not again, every time. It's all do I do. do Why can't I name. do a song? I don't say want to say my fucking sing name. name. Say, say no! Say fucking no! Sing a little song now! Do it then! Do it! 
I'm just saying, saying, all I wanted to say, a little sizzler. Yeah. I've got something in here. And if it gets a bit dry, the competition, because it's a long night. It's gonna, it's if a long it gets night a bit tonight. dry, there might be something. <laughs> what does that mean? There might be a little something to. Can I have a peek? No, no, no. This is <laughs> important, <laughs> I want important stuff. Shh, 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 quiet. Shh. Come to you in a minute. Name in a minute. Shut up. So. This is your Envision 2023. We had to take last year off because of episode 300, which was a great success. And uh, thank you all for coming out to that as well. So we've uh, decided to bring you the gift of your Envision one more year. How are you feeling about it tonight? I'm feeling good. Good, strong um, set of songs we've got. Great Cynical, line -up. A great line um, And I think uh, technical hitches have been rife in years previous, but we've really got it sorted this time. Like I say, if it does get dry, at all. Ooh, what might be in here? What might it be? What could it be? It begins with S. Orbs. S orbs. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, great songs this year. Yeah, so we had a load of songs come in. We had to whittle them down to ten. Ten we got, and we're gonna present those ten songs tonight in no particular order, just as we fancy it. And then we have ten fantastic judges giving us their votes throughout the night, live, I guess, on satellite, and they'll be ranking them. We've got our boards here, pens to go, we're all set. It's I'm set, and all night. you've got me a Sharpie. Yeah, look, I've got you a nice one as well. Is it? You can sniff that. <laughs> There's nothing. There's nothing. They've, they've ruined they've it. They've ruined it. Bring back the Sharpie you <laughs> could get high on. I like the almond ones. Mark Almond. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Almond's pens. Ooh. Do you like Mark Almond's no. pens? You no! No, that's not a pun! <laughs> it is. I've made it one just now. So, uh, what else do we need to mention then at the top of the show? Nuts butter. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently nothing there. We've got no, well, we need what? to tell them about Experts Corner. We're going to do that now, but I wanted to make sure before we got there, was there any other business? We no, that's mention? it. No. Right. Well, it's a song say. competition. Yeah. If you haven't watched it before, We've had songs that have been sent in. By our listening uh, These are all public. original, totally original numbers, no totally cover original. versions. No remixes, no uh, dubstep 12-inch master mix. Some of it is dance. We've got a wide range of genres that I think everyone's going to enjoy in their homes this we, evening. I agree. It's, it's a nice variety, and we've made some very, very special pop videos to go along with these songs you tonight. Made them. We made... You haven't made them. We outsourced to a gentleman who I will come to in a minute who made these pop videos, but they were my idea. Or oh, what, have you had the idea to invent pop videos? You're not on camera yet, so... I can off. shout from off camera. I could just get you to go. I mean, but who's, <laughs> I, mean I was in a lot of them. I mean, he needed... Well, he anyway, we've got pop in. videos, and then we've got judges who are going to be leaving their votes, and we'll be telling them all, that's the plan. We're very excited, but we're not doing this alone tonight, are we? No, we're not, Paul. No, I'm Eli Silverman. <laughs> oh come on! Come I can on. see in your eyes. <laughs> You're about to lose your shit. I'm not aren't about you? to lose anything. I can see it. I'm fine. Are you still hot this... in that coat? Come on, this. It's a bit hot now. It's fine. It's always nice to get hot, scratchy. Get your shirt sleeves rolled up and get into the muck and the grubbage <laughs> of another piss-themed show of music. Can we do? Come on. Oh, that's what we can tell them about. Later in the video, in this well, later in this live stream, we're going to be showing you a video of how to make your very own special Your Envision cocktail. What will they need? Uh, they will need. Don't do this to me now. They will need. I'm sorry. Did I ask you to be professional for a moment? That was my mistake. I'll take it back. Fuck him. Some toilet paper, some chocolate to crumble in a pestle and mortar, gin, lemon juice. Uh, what was the syrup? It was like a. Uh, uh, Melon? Melon. Melon syrup. Grapefruit. No, right? grapefruit. Grapefruit. Syrup. Yeah. Uh, grapefruit soda. And also, um, if you can find some really nasty, cheap, sort of blue fluorescent sherbet. Yeah, like a kind of a dip dab or something. A dip dab. You know what I mean, don't you? A dip dab. You know what a dip dab is, don't you? A dip dab. A blue raz, ideally, to give you... Well, it'll be explained in it the video. It features blue raz. Later in the show. And can I just update the things that are having a moment? Blue raz, Muller Corners... And now ranch dressing, everybody. Wait, I thought you were going to talk about garlic mayo again. Well, garlic mayo hasn't been as relevant as long as people think. And no, fucking... Tewksbury Star Burger <laughs> sold it back in the 90s. Yeah, I don't want to hear Apparently. about Tewksbury fucking Star Burger. 
That's anecdotal. Oh, that's that's a euphemism. Yeah. Oh, I got my wife and. Uh, I took her right up the tube <laughs> through Starbucks. <laughs> right. yes. Well done, Paul. You said it. I didn't get a chance to. You can't take it out of, out of my mouth and then tell me <laughs> off for it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we're going to go over now. We're not doing this alone tonight. We've got two experts, two guests, who we have booked tonight to be here and give us facts and fancies about the judges and the songs we're going to be seeing tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Digitizer itself, Mr Biffo and Sanya. Round of applause. How are things with you? All right. Oh, oh, it's their anniversary. It's their anniversary. Happy anniversary. Boys and girls. We met married. We, uh, we what, went to yeah. Lidl before coming here and we bought four bottles of Prosecco. This one was five ninety nine. This one was six ninety nine. Oh, different. You went for a. That, that one's organic. This is organic. Is it better? Like, uh, well, I don't know yet. You don't know yet. It doesn't matter, does it? Can't really really tell. Really. No, it doesn't really I'm matter. I'm a little bit tiddly. Are you already tiddly already? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you're only two bottles in. What five years. Five years. Do you want to tell you, say to them? What, Not what you've been saying every time I've mentioned it's our fifth wedding anniversary? Uh, she gives only it six. Only five years legally <laughs> with, but we have been together a lot longer than that. Oh. So oh. I just want, I just want I mean, that I to be noted. I don't know if she's saying that as a negative thing. Or <laughs> a negative I, thing. I want credit where credit's due. It's like we have... We've survived. We've survived longer than five years. Yeah, it's not just a five-year relationship. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Stop thinking that. Yeah, exactly. but how healthy is a relationship when one of them on. says, we've survived five years? <laughs> Everything's yeah. survival. Everything. Everything's survival. Is it? Yeah. Why are you marching Every around? Every day like is survival. <laughs> Why are you marching around like some kind of, I don't know, <laughs> angry <laughs> headmaster or something? <laughs> your hands behind your back. What's all this? Yeah. What's all this? Why don't you pose? Well, I don't Illuminati. understand. I do not understand what all this Illuminati. negative energy is. What's all this? <laughs> this is the expert corner. Where do you live, sir? I would like to say that you're particular. Where do you fucking live? 99 Lesby Avenue. Illu, illu, illu. And what's my favourite meal, sir? Irish stew. Thank you, and they're all the police gags we know. Thank you for the police gag section of the show. I've right, I've got another one. Have you? Yeah. What did the policeman shirt say to his, his, yes. his belly? What? You're under the bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Uh, what does a... No, I'm not going to do that. Gag, actually. Yeah. I've got another one. Yeah? What do you call... What do you get if you call 666? I don't know. Devil. The, de the devil. <laughs> <laughs> you might. I know why. <laughs> Can you stop marching around the room? I'm trying to give people some visual excitement because they're not getting it from that shirt, are they? Ooh. Oh, can, we, can we comment on my shirt? Let's oh, comment on your shirt. It's very nice. I wore this. Oh, I bought this for Digi Live. You can see it in person in the summer. Yeah, tell them about Digi Live. July the 28th now. and 29th. Paul and Milo will be there. So will someone else who I'll, haven't been introduced yet. Yeah, there's also yeah. links on our website. There's someone else. Yeah, UK. links on Cheat Show's website to buy tickets. Yeah. If you like seeing us stick around together. And Eli, like, oh, we'll get Eli to march around with his hands behind his back like a dictator. Before the show. <laughs> Hang on. There are two things we need to get out of the way before we get into this show. So let's just do this now. Yeah. One is... Ethernet cable, Ethernet cable, Ethernet cable. The requirement is stream. Yes. It's a requirement to stream. And it's it a requirement to stream. 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 All right, you're it's an Ethernet cable. You ruined that now. You completely absorbed all the energy. I would like on. some. I would like some repertoire. I'm sorry, <laughs> the rapid talk. Eli would like some rapid talk. I'd like some rapid talk to your pyro. <laughs> what are the experts going to do? Well, if you stop fucking interrupting me, I'm sorry. Pulling it's focus. distracting. I'm sit here. Yeah, yeah, do better. He's finished with the expert chat, and then let's get Ethan on. Should so we come over there? Because. Oh, All right, come on over here then. Cut, cutting back and forth. Okay. Come on, oh, over my bummer. We'll do a proper interview. <laughs> That's nice. Well, it did sound good. Those there. chairs are uncomfortable. Look at this. There's a bum shake on the chair. Wow. Oh, yeah. There's oh, some nice bum shakes. Some bum shakes. There are some serious bum yeah. shakes. Yeah. We won't stay here. Heavy Don't worry. Heavy we won't pressing. steal your spotlight. It's not about the spotlight. No, no. Just, it's Do we get to march around? Yes, you want. That was like the Groucho Marx convention. <laughs> Do you want to join in, Ethan? You're begging to. Come on, come on, come on, man. Let's, come on, man. Let's, come on, man. Let's all, let's all what we want, Groucho Marx. <laughs> Guys, right, well, we've had a lot of fun, so let's play everyone. Go to the inter. No, oh, what now? We're going to do an interview bit. We're going to talk about all okay. this. Okay. 
I'm sure all the shit. So, you're a urine vision expert, aren't you? Yes. What kind of facts would you two be bringing facts to Facts the... about the songs. Facts, facts about the songs and also possibly facts about the artists. Oh, that's oh, good to know. Good to know. Some background information. I haven't got any facts about the artists. I may. Oh, well, at least someone does here and that's exciting and I can't may. wait to hear them. Mm. Uh, were there any surprises? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean? What do you mean? Well, like, did you find a surprising fact out about Bubbly Bum Tits? And there's got a lot of facts. There is about no. Let's make it clear. There's no song yeah. by Bubbly Bum Tits. <laughs> it should be <laughs> next year. Next, next year. year. Get writing now. Bubbly Bum Tits. Bubbly yeah. Bum Tits. It bubbly will. Bubbly Bubbly Bubbly, 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 bubbly Bum Tits. Yes. I'm just saying. Were there any interesting, surprising facts that you came across? Yeah, it was research? actually. I do have some surprising facts about pirates. Oh, this is oh. good. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, about hot sauce. I didn't get any pi- facts about pirates. Why I not? did get some about plums. Oh, I didn't Ooh, think to get... Ooh, pirates oh. and plums? What the, could that be a reference to? <laughs> P and P. <laughs> P&P? Well, i tell you what, i tell you what. Well, go sit down. No, no, we won't go you here. Tell us about how DG Series 2 is going. Um, well, it's a bit of a... bit of a story, really. Well, uh, well I've been there. It seems to be all going well. Yeah, yes, but we had this big finale planned with like a biplane um yeah but that was always going to be too big a i know thing, but, but we we had raised enough money or so i thought and then i mean sandy was doing the finance and then i kind of checked the account yeah but I, you said you were going to help me with the finance i know but I'm like it wasn't very good with that sort of it wasn't thing. all on me well I so it was so what you're saying is i you... went to pay for the biplane right and then Ooh, the, the, the account was in the red no, yeah, all the money that we raised on Kickstarter for Digi Level Two. Yeah, yeah, no, so that's quite big. Yeah, I feel really bad. Well, yeah, look, I'm sure. I mean, so, I mean, so really you know, so we're not sorry anyone who who's looking forward to that. It's just going to be a bog standard show about video games. Yeah. Oh, retro look, games. You know what? I'm sure well, no matter what happens, no biplanes. Yeah, but it'll be fine. It'll be a great show with or without biplanes, right? Yeah. So don't you worry about that. We don't could get paper planes. Anything. Yeah, you can, like, we really can do the same. I don't think you can planes. do wing walking well, on a paper yeah, plane. We if you get it wings. enough, mashed up enough, well, yeah. like a big wing ball. A, well, <laughs> you, then you, you get it wet, fashion it into a wing. Perhaps you've got like paper mache. You have what? I'm out of your this. <laughs> <Put out spit. laughs> Listen. What? Well, but you know what? Whatever, yeah. go sit down. We've had right. your thing. Our oh, bum shakes. Thank you. Gone. Thanks we'll for being experts. Go and go to the bum shakes. Thanks your bum shakes. Okay. Happy anniversary. Thank, Thank you. you. Sanya and Mr. Biffer, they're our experts throughout the night. But again, also, Mr. Biffer will also be one of our illustrious judges, and he'll be passing his own scores towards the end of the voting tonight as well. But he's not alone, because we've got, I'm a bit excited about this, we've got a very, very big get for tonight. So uh, we wanted to get a huge, well, for us, a huge. Uh, celebrity for Cheap Show to do the voting tonight. So uh, with a little bit of finagling, a little bit of a uh, back, back, back room, back room, <laughs> back room uh, back dealings. Room finagling. Back room finagling. Back room finagling. Dealing. Um, we've secured someone very special tonight. You may have seen him in things such as, I don't know, I don't know, what have you seen him in? He's going to be in Horrible Histories later in the year, I presume, I don't know. He's also in, a, can I not mention that? I don't know. Yeah, you can. It's a, you've done no press. Bad education. <laughs> Just get him on, you fucking <laughs> afterlife. That one, not the Ghostbusters one. He was in the other one that was on the sky. Uh, and also he was in that Magic Mike one recently as oh. well, which is quite good. When so we're very watch? excited. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our huge big celebrity guest judge tonight. It is only Ethan Lawrence. Bring him on. <laughs> <laughs> Come into the centre. Oh, I'm standing there. Oh, I'm standing there. Oh, I'm standing there. Oh, I'm standing there. Oh, how are you there? I want to make it clear that like the, yeah. the backroom fumbling that wasn't there's nothing untoward. No, no, I just meant you know like dealings, just like stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that what, no one thought it was like bum stuff or anything like no, that. No, I didn't. No one suggested <laughs> it was going to be bum stuff. He had a glint in his eye. It's like working with him. What do you mean? It's just it's all bum stuff. It's bum not stuff, all bum, bum stuff. stuff. It is. You're the one who said backroom fumbling. Yes. Back, you, like it, like a backroom deal, like a kind of a backroom deal. Oh! <laughs> Stop turning this into carry on your envision. Hand over the cash in my back alley. There was a little <laughs> bit of that, admittedly, yes. But the point is, Sp- spunking reddies. Uh, spewing, I'm trying to... Yeah, if you want to just carry on with your spewing what? Spunk. Spoffing coins, yeah? 
Anything All else? All shooting out a, uh, um, a jackpot machine. A jackpot, right, you know, we, we tapped out. <laughs> Ethan, welcome to join us for the uh, uh, thank, thank, thank you very much, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, we know you're very busy, uh, and it's it's a pleasure for you to be here tonight. How did you, you've listened to the songs? Yeah, yeah, listen to them, got, oh, got my judging ready. How did you feel about them? Uh, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty good, pretty good this year. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've, I've been a judge before, so obviously I've, I've been with your invention since the beginning, so it's a... Uh, yeah, it's a good, good, good cohort this evening. I thought. Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. Good. So, uh, how is life in general? What have you got planned? What's coming up? Oh, lots of stuff. You mentioned horrible history. Yeah, so that's exactly. going to be coming out very soon. Uh, it's been a very, very busy time. Yeah. It's, it's been, you know, it's, it's this is always feast or famine in this industry, but I am feasting well. Good. Well, it's, I mean, just you get the cheap show form if nothing else. Don't you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, thanks so much. Show. Thanks so much. Everyone's I know. talking about. Yeah. No, thank you. It's, it's great. Do you want to um just a small thing? Yeah. Um, yeah, I did have to kind of talk in the show, but um. Did ask for uh, for grey goose and you. I told you to get grey goose. No, you didn't. You said get the cheapest shit we you, we can possibly. No, get. no, I didn't say get the cheapest shit. I said you get said what get cans. You said get that glens. I didn't say get that. I, I said get know that glens. glens. It's, oh, it's, it's, it's exciting. Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. I just thought you know. That's kind of a big fucking letdown. I was thinking, mate. I can. I've got like some mixers. I guess I'll have that for this. And look, I know you had a rider and stuff, but we couldn't get, we couldn't afford in the end. We kind of tapped out, didn't we, Pete? Um, well, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, and thank you for that, by the way. No, but, you know, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. I mean, it's, it's a small-scale operation. Which is, yeah, 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 yeah. And we can't, you know, we'd like, obviously, let's pay you more. But I think what we did pay was enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. I mean, it's, it's all right. Yeah. So, uh, what, what, what was I going to say now? Are you, are you, uh, song, thing where you're going up in your career. What are we talking about? No? Oh, so I guess it was just sort of a general introduction. Yeah, just yeah. a general introduction. Yeah. Oh, no, the rider, that was it. We couldn't afford the um, uh, the, the, the nacho platter you wanted. We got some gummies out the back, however. Yeah, I mean, I, was, I really fancied some guac this evening, and the, the lack of guac is... Can you do a delivery or something? I can get guac, yeah, but are you yeah, just going to get the... Is that all you want, though, just guacamole? Well, uh, that's that's the part of the nachos I enjoy the most. I mean, But you don't want the nachos part? Well, I figured you'd do this, yeah, okay. so I bought some Doritos along. Oh, okay. okay. Well, then we'll keep. We'll keep yeah, because yeah. I've got to, you know, make do, I do all do my own stuff right now. Because, like, you know, I have to make my own way here. Yeah. You refuse to to play on. Yeah, but we're gonna so. we're gonna reimburse you for that. So don't. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's that's great. You'll be receiving the look can you invoice use, tomorrow. Can you? You see, he told me about the bit. Can you he's gonna do the link. Can you use that number to do the delivery? Yes, the it. same card. Yeah, 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 the same card. <clears throat> yes, so look, yes, we've done our best, but thank you. And we've no, no, got you've, you've done, you, honestly, considering everything that you're up against and, you know, the cost of living crisis going on, you've yeah, done yeah, yeah. really well. Thank you. But, um, you know. Well, we, be well, you'll be here, you'll be listening to the tracks again, you'll be yep. judging and you'll be giving your scores at the top of the night. You'll be our star judge scoring man. Well so deserved, we're looking well forward deserved. to that. And we'll be popping back to you throughout the show, see what you think of the songs you've seen so Absolutely, far. Absolutely, yeah. Get a little bit of a catch up on how you're feeling things are going. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, going to be used a slightly more comfy chair, but it's fine. It's good. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's all that it's got here. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And, and you said you'd get your agents watching this tonight and stuff as well. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I mean, that's one of the agents. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I've, I've held up my end of the bargain. And you held so up. If I check the 499 <laughs> blends. So if I check the chat room, your agent will well, he might not be active in the chat. He might watch the chat later. No, he, he, he'll, he'll be watching, but he's not going to be active in the chat. He's not going oh, to like, try and that. derail the... Yeah, look, anyway, look, 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 you were just going to tell me to go. Go, you? go, <laughs> go, get out of here. Go over there. Don't worry, That's a good fucking show. We've got some little Prosecco if you want. No, I'm all right. So, thank you, Ethan, for joining us tonight. You're it's welcome! An exciting... <laughs> Ethernet cable, Ethernet cable, Ethernet cable, he's on our stream, he's on our stream, he's on our stream, and he's Ethernet cable. <laughs> he's on our stream. I just wanted to see where that was going to go. It didn't go far, but it was, it was all very Jagger-like, wasn't it? Yeah. You got those moves like Jagger, haven't you? No. So hang on, if that's Groucho Marx, is this Jagger? No. Oh. Yeah. And then it, together it's Tina Turner, isn't it? Oh, oh too oh, soon! What do you mean? How is it what too soon hell? to celebrate a woman's dance moves? She's a fucking legend so of music. music. Jesus, Paul. Just saying she's a little bit Jagger, a little bit... Grand she's her own thing! I didn't like that, Paul. I didn't like For that. For sake, mate. It's, it's a bit soon. disrespectful. It's not disrespectful. She's my favourite singer. Well, now what do I do? It's really awkward. Well, I know... <laughs> 
Should well, I do the thing them. with the suitcase? Why, has it gotten dry already? <laughs> it, it has, has the emergency suitcase. Has it gotten like that, that dry that we have to get your secret suitcase out? I want to start... When are we going to do the songs? I don't know what we're, we're, we're doing. What do you mean? I gave you a fucking script. It's in we there. We talked about it outside. No, you've got one here. I know where we are in the show, but you seem set with your little heart on your little suitcase. So fucking show us your little sauce suitcase, and then we can start the show without the fucking spectre of that looming over the next two hours of this fucking shit show. I think you should save it for the grand I'm gonna I think it, you should shut up. I'm going to save it. At this point... You are that, just getting to the point where it's like, I'm hearing enough. That seems a bit rude. I've been invited to be here. I have a right. I have my rights. What do you want to do with the fucking sauce suitcase? I'll do it time? later when it's dry. Now it's hot, red hot. <laughs> it's got a little bit sticky. <laughs> right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We did this in, last in 2021. And in 2021, we whittled those 10 songs, or that's 13 songs then, down to one. And that winner, we're going to play you now. So we're going to play last year's winner to get the music flowing in the show. Start the night off. This is Lee Spence with Nostalgia's Gonna Get Ya. I need that good time feeling just like back in the day When the real problems of the world were kept far away I can wallow in my childhood games of pop music sounds All the films that I was too young for the first time around if ontology is your pathology, then nostalgia's gonna get you, nostalgia's gonna get you. My local shopping centre is where I want to be, though they whitewash the pastel decor back in 93. That vape shop once sold games on tape for my Spectrum Plus, and the discount supermarket used to be Toys R Us. If your kind of place is a liminal space, then nostalgia's, nostalgia's gonna, gonna get you, nostalgia's gonna get you. The man from the Prue, still alive. Atlantic 252, still alive. The Polaris Subs, still alive. The Burger King Kids Club, still alive. The Naked Gun, still alive. Pebble Mill and One, still alive. Quattro Soda, still alive. Derrida, still alive. Finder's Crispy Pancake, still alive. The rhythm of the nightly news makes me think that I've been living in the alternate 1985. Tomorrow's world is cancelled, so please don't have a cow. The greatest hits of yesteryear will do for you now. Don't take a stand till you reach for that landfill. Nostalgia's gonna get you, nostalgia's gonna get you. back not to not oh that was a strong winner Oof. it was a popular choice oh it got the judges salivating with joy oh. <laughs> that's it is that all you're going to do oh. right, good stuff right so let us finally with no further ado get your the start is get is going what are the songs paul songs on the Thing. Let's get the songs going. <laughs> Shut, up. Shut up. Yeah, no, it's good. This is all good stuff. Good. It's good material. Right, so we have ten tracks for you tonight. We're going to announce them track by track. Track but by track. If you'd listened to uh, episode 335 released earlier today, we did announce all ten tracks there. All so ten tracks earlier. If that's you, you submitted the track. You're part of these ten tonight. Well done, you. There are no losers tonight. You're all winners. All winners. Apart from the one who wins at the end. Super Obviously. winner. The, he's, that's the super winner, basically. Whoever that is, is the super winner. Right. Okay. Our first track, and we're going to also go and get a little fact beforehand before we go to the track as well. Okay. So. A fact before? Yeah. Oh. That makes sense. Fact. Track. Track. Back to chat. Back to chat. Facts. Chat. Fact track. Chat. Back to chat. Fact. Track. Chat. Fact. Track. Fact. Back track. to chat. Yeah. Fat. Fat. <laughs> Fat whack. Check a card. Fat whack! <laughs> stop, stop just screaming out. Like, what? Like, You're pushing me! I'm not pushing you to say the words fat wank. No. You were. No point. Come on, like you were. were. Like you want to do a fat wank. You so were. What? what the repetition. Fat track. 
Why? <laughs> no, wank does not sound like track or chat or fast. Back to chat. Right, the first track today. Let's get this your division started. It is LJ Goody and Runaway, Mr. Biffo, Sanya. What facts do you have about this particular artist? You changed the order. Yes. I told you beforehand. Yeah, I know, but you didn't tell me what the new order was. No, that's just not that's not for me to say, is it? I I wrote the the a sultry (laughs) blues rock stomp. Run away. With some Yes. Yeah, by LJ Goody. What the why interrupt me and go uh, are you talking about the right one? I'm a professional. All right, I just thought you'd be prepared, that was all. I am prepared. Oh yeah. Run away is a sultry blues rock stomp with some in excess style harmonica. Mm. And I have a. F- would, you, would you have you got anything to say about the song? Uh, I have a fact. I have a fact about Runaways. Um, apparently, according to Wikipedia, there are 57 films about Runaways. Here they go <laughs> The 400 Bones, American Honey. 57. The, 57. We're not reading out 57. We don't need to do Amityville Playhouse. Arrested in the Girls Don't Cry. They get even. No, okay, that's, 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 that's not We're not going to do all well, that. We get I, the idea. I have yeah, a fact the about the harmonica itself. Oh. Which it features in this song, and it was invented by a man called Bushman. Sounds <laughs> legit. <laughs> 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 Mr. Bushman or Bushman? Yes, Bush Christian Frederick, Friedrich, Wait. Ludwig Bushman. Mr. Bushman? <laughs> well, I imagine it was ha- it? Hair Bushman. It was a hair man, I think that should have been. That's my fact. That's a good that's fact. That's a fact. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, then, if that's all you've got for us, let's go to the track, ladies and gentlemen. Your first track of the night, Runaway, L.J. Goody. Mm. What did you think about that? How did you feel? You don't really need to make drink all that like that. Well, but I'm gonna pace myself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Fine. Yeah. Fine. So yeah, I thought it was uh, good. Yeah. <laughs> you, don't, that, you got no like anything. Well, it's like what? Cut to experts corner. Like, I'm not the expert. I get, but you're, no, but I want your opinions of what we're fucking doing, don't we? So it, we get some fucking use. Out I of you. said it was good, and it is. 
Can you at least for the next song do more than like? Yeah, all right, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll I'll, 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 I'll ween something up. It'll be amazing. Got some gin in there. Yeah, please, thank you. No, don't, don't. Eli, watch out for the Titanic. <laughs> Eli, what is it all going on? I'm making a drink. It's not ice. Look at that. That's oh, not ice. It's a love heart shape. It is. It's an ice. Oh, ice Eli, heart. happy Valentine's Day. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's steady. Oh, it's our anniversary. It's, not yours it's June the 2nd. <laughs> right. You're going to melt that icy heart, aren't you, Eli? I'm just waiting for it to, to mix down. Right, okay, while you're doing that, let's go on to the next track. We have nine more. The next one is called Fire Inside by Mr. Siegel. What have you got on Mr. Siegel, The Fire Inside? Well, hang on, wait a minute, because I have to... No rush, just when you get there, tell me what you've got. a sad, depressing song. It sounded like the vocals were a bit auto-tuned, I'll be honest. But barely. Doing. He's trying to go out, he's too busy fucking fucking about with his fucking <laughs> stupid fucking waddle of fucking camera existence. Shot. So uh, guys, <clears throat> I don't know about you, Sonia, but I have some facts about seagulls. Me too. What are yours? Alright, so my facts about seagulls are, seagulls can drink both fresh and salty water. Oh. Most animals are unable to do this. <laughs> but, <yourself>. seagulls, <laughs> but seagulls have a special pair of glands. Oh fucking hell, right you've got the same eyes, facts as me. <laughs> so that's the, I've got that fact. Really what does the facts? gland do? Take the salt out? Um, it flushes the salt from their systems through the openings in the bill. Fucking hell. That's pretty cool, oh, okay. isn't it? Well... I, I, okay, I have another fact about seagulls. that They have a lifespan of between 15 and 25 years. Cool. But I wish now I'd done some facts about Stephen Seagull. Do you know anything about him? He's, he's really good with, at martial isn't arts. Isn't he friends with Kim Jong-un? What do you, what do you, he is with Putin. He's a big fan yeah, of Putin. Putin. But he's a horrible, horrible human being, Stephen Seagal. Yeah, yes. he's hanging out with Putin all the time. Putin. Mm, no, no, <laughs> not you. All right, before, before we yeah. started the stream, we, can't, we, before we, we started the stream, we spent an hour trying to come up with puns to do with dictators. Wait, Starting who was, with, who was King we had, we had um, Bussolini. Yeah, we had Bussolini. We had Bussolini, which is a new show uh, coming out soon. Nikolai Karchesko. <laughs> Nikolai Karchesko. <laughs> uh, 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 Kim, Kim Jong. No, no. It Kim Jong Un. Kim Jong Un. Cycle. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, uh, then he just sort of. Kim Jong Un. Del Cartro. The Del Cartro. That was it. And who was the Tok Tok? Or the. Vladimir put Pop 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 yeah. No, I'm glad we all managed to get this out of our system. We've got it out. We, yeah. we did worry that the entire it's stream would be dominated however, by a dictator. If you can think of any good dictator puns, please, please put them below. What about what you put in your car? Castro or all of them? Actually, actually, Eli. <laughs> we, did, we, did have a, we did have a Pol Pot one, but oh, yeah. oh, Heli Pot. Heli <laughs> Pol Pot. Yeah, yeah, that works, Pol Pot's honest. face with a big H on it. Anyway, that's the humour right, of the way this yeah. evening. Let's go <laughs> to God for that. Let's just play the song, right? Let's just play the second track, Fire Away, Mr. Siegel. Once upon a stage, I stood tall and proud. Dreams of fame and applause from the crowd But the curtain fell and the lights went dim Yet I found solace in music, a new life to begin Whole late night spinning records, the beat set me free A world of ruin where I could truly be me But now they've taken my soul, my music, my heart Torn array the pieces that kept me from falling apart I came home to emptiness and despair The space once filled with music now just cold and bare The thief in the night stole more than just sound But the essence of my life where my passion was found In my darkest hour I wept and I cried Searching for answers for a reason to try Through the pain and sorrow I saw a glimmer of hope a faint echo of music, the strength to go on Oh, I run the streets with a burden chest Seeking comfort in faces, a chance to feel blessed As I moved along, I sensed a guiding beam A call to action to regain my stolen dream Oh, late night spinning records, the beat set me free A world of rhythm from where I can truly be me but now they've taken my soul, my music, my heart Torn away the pieces that kept me from falling apart 
Oh, in the silence I rise with a fire inside But no one can steal the passion that won't be denied A journey of redemption to reclaim what was lost A sympathy of resilience no matter the cost I'll chase the echoes of the music once played With every note found my spirit remain Oh, Norman, I rise with a fire inside My heart a record play in my life's ride Well, well done, Mr. Well Seagull. Done, Seagull. Mr. Well Seagull. Mr. Seagull, two Good. tracks down, eight to go. So we're going to go straight to the next one after we get our thoughts and feelings from Ethan Ostar. Oh, quite melancholy, that one, I thought. Oh, no, no, thank it, you. It, it put me in a, in, a, in, a, in a mood. Did you find it maybe was a bit too, I don't know, down? A bit kind of sad? Well, I'm not going to reveal too much yet, because obviously right. my judgment's going to come in later. But you're, 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 I'm, uh, you're, sorry, you're, how many are you drinking for a second? Now? Yeah. It's mixing it. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Happy, it's oh, thank anniversary. you. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Happy anniversary. Yeah, hold that for a second. What's up? Why is everyone drinking? We have a show to worry about. It's a party. It's a party. It's an anniversary. It's an anniversary, Paul. Five years. Five years. Well, what material is that? Is that paper wood. or wood? Wood, wood! I don't know if I'm there on camera. Time. They've got contact. wood! Look at this, I'm using They've steel. They've got wood, Paul! Ooh, Eli, what's that? It's really <laughs> a Vietnamese uh, energy drink. What are you doing? Steel, oh, ginseng flavoured Come and save this for later. Ginseng? No, no, I'm, oh, nice. I'm, I'm, listen, with your attitude, you drive people to drink. Do it there, I've got a show to fucking do, mate. Oh, we'll do so, the show then. Right, next Let's one, do we're doing the third track we're doing today is Psycho Billy by Triple Drop. International. What have you got for us on those? Well, uh, I describe this as dark biker rock with Nick Cave-esque vocals. Mm. Does that sound good? Mm. Uh, it's the sort of song <laughs> you can fuck to. <laughs> <laughs> and it deals with the ultimate taboo, cannibalism. Mm. Have you got any uh, facts on cannibalism? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I thought uh, you would have. <laughs> they're not very good facts. Cannibalism refers to the act of consuming the flesh of internal organs no, of, of the same species. So but internal only? So if I ate your skin, it No, flesh and internal organs. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, then I went down a rabbit hole with auto-cannibalism. Oh. Yeah, if you uh, bite your nails, is that cannibalism? I well, I thought, I, 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 I've wanted this my entire life. If I ate my own hand, is that, what the, is that illegal? Hand? I mean, I've had is scabs. Is illegal? I've had scabs off me. Yeah, I've had scabs. If Sorry. You eat, don't. What about if you eat your own boogers? Well, I Bogies. smoked my own Bogies. boogers after a night on the Charlie because, you know, you, you, it dries out and then there's still cocaine left in the snob. Do you <laughs> eat anything as you sell them off the belly? <laughs> what the hell? Great interview question. Yeah, great interview. Yeah. 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 Don't get that question. Yeah. 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 Sorry, guys. Your feet picked up your body. <laughs> 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 Oh, it's really uncomfortable. Oh, I enjoyed the chair. I it's a new, it's chair. a new drink, everyone. Oh, it's a great Vietnamese. A sting. I call it a gin sting. Oh, Does that give me PTSD well, flashbacks? <laughs> while he's doing that, that quite we're going to go to the third track. Bit, yeah. Please play Psycho Billy oh. by Triple Drop International. i 
back. Oh, well done, Triple Drop International. Hey, Psycho Billy. How did you feel about that one? I liked it. I liked it. But, you know, you've, you've sort of given me different mixed messages here because you want me to say what I think about it, but also you want me to hold it back from the judging, so it's sort of a bit... No, you can give a little bit I of I feel like I'm compromised. So you can give a tidbit, can't you? A titbit. Also, you don't need to have that on. Just let you... him have it. Why did he get... Why is everyone drinking but me? You, didn't get you can drink if you You've got a desperado. Yeah, but I'm doing it off camera like a fucking gentleman. I'm drinking responsibly. I'm the guest. I like the song. I liked the song. No, wait, thank you. You like the song. I like the song. I don't need to give me everything. I just need to give you a, a flavour. I, I liked it. What you... He liked the song, right, Paul. Good, all right, thank you. Now you can ask me. What did you think? I like the song as well. Thank you. Yeah. What and, about us? And them. We about... like the song. I'm not allowed to say it because I'm a judge. Yeah, Ethan's he's a judge. A judge. Yeah, yeah well, I, you see, the rules I wasn't aren't paying clear. Attention. I was looking up for the next song, some facts about anal sex. Right, well, in that case, let's get to that one then because our next <laughs> song, track four, is called Come Round Here by Refried Anal. Boom! Is that it? Is that literally it? Boom! <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know what? You've got a lot of confidence for a man who should have none. Well, that's, that's where the magic lies, my dear. <laughs> no, what it looks like is you'll be a pissed uncle at a party marching around, intruding on people's private space and talking about the time they were once on On the Bosses in the background. Have we started the song yet? No, we're doing the talky we've bit got to now. Do that. Oh, yeah, I'm getting. Sorry. So tell us about Come Round Here, Re Friday. What have you got for well, us? Tony, you want to start because Paul very rudely cut to the song last time before you got your facts. Yes, yeah, so I wanted to in the start background. By, We're talking now. I'll just get it out of the way. Um, come round is, apart from being an urban dictionary thing to, that you say to someone that annoys you, it's also a phrasal verb that you can say to someone, like, you know, that someone's come around, come back to consciousness. What? The main thing I wanted to say is that the chopper is my favourite motorbike. Um, a chopper is like a mix Why are you talking about the chopper for this one? When you can oh, last, that's from the last I didn't get to say it okay, last time. Okay, it's the same. She just wants to talk about a great, a great, a great big chopper that she wants to ride on. <laughs> we can talk about your sat, your wife's... Tell us more and slowly about what we'd like to do with a chopper. Go on, fuck's sake. I think that's all my facts for this song. Oh, you're done. <laughs> well, um, I had some facts about roundabouts initially because uh, yeah. it's called Come Round Here. But then I thought, well, I'll look up some. It's a cheap show, isn't it? So apparently for, for anal sex, it's important to start slowly uh, and use <laughs> gradual <laughs> penetration to allow the recipient's muscles to adjust. Oh, yeah, also, uh, not everyone is interested or enjoys anal sex. Was that on the wiki? Is that Chat GPT? Chat GPT, <laughs> by the way. How does it not? No, which wouldn't let wouldn't wouldn't help me come up with bloody dictator <laughs> puns earlier. Go, oh, we can't we can't make light of dictators. Fuck off, Chat GPT. You AI. Anyway, up. yeah, I like to say, anal sex is a lot like Christmas. It's better to give than to receive. Isn't I thought you were going to say crisps. <laughs> 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 Anal <laughs> sex is better than crisps. No, it's just like crisps. Is it better to give than to receive? That's so backward looking, man. Reach for your heart. Yeah. Is it? What if I like getting fucked in my heart? <laughs> you could be a power bottom, couldn't you? Like, well, people power. enjoy both aspects of it. Stop kick training people, Paul. Yeah, yeah well, that's what being like superhero now. <laughs> power bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Look, let's move on to playing the track. This is Refried Adel and come round here. 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 Come round here.
him, if you just let him do his thing, he will eventually break himself. He's now in the death throes of this moment. And he'll peter out. Yeah, here we go. He gets quieter. And there we go. There's the regret setting in. Oh, yeah. And now the forgiveness and the begging. Oh, yeah. Tacos. 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 The otter. That you can eat. Oh, oh I know. <laughs> I know. It was awful. Come on, Paul. Oh. Keep the energy up. Woof. Right. Woof. Ethan. Yeah. What did you think of Come Round Here Refried Anal? I, I, <laughs> I liked it. I thought it was good. Yeah? Yeah. What about, do you like Refried Anal? As a concept? Or yeah. As a name, what do you or think or that would involve? Uh, something got it written down over you. I've got, I've got a version of what I think refried. Right, you're like, like you're a regular Tim and like Tim Lovejoy, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. It's like a bomb paste. A Simon Rimmer. That's the other euphemism I've got down here as well. Yeah, I, 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 I read it. The yeah. old Simon R Rimmer. The old Simon Rimmer. Oh, uh, the old Simon Rimmer. <laughs> oh, 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 the old hey. Simon Rimmer. Oh, the, uh, the old Simon Rimmer. <laughs> it's like you keep, it's like you pop it in like a cartoon character just go not the old Simon River I'm trying to take part I'm trying to take part what do you have an opinion on that he's the man did you like he's the man refined anus and he spots it everywhere we're done right the next track our fifth one, two, three, yeah, the fifth, we're halfway through after this one. Whoa. It is The Lament of Captain Blue Boys by Noiseland. Blue what have you got for Blue, Blue Balls. Balls? Blue Balls. What did I say? Blue, Blue Boys. Boys. Blue Boys. That's not the It's your character as well, yeah. Paul. The Lament yeah. of Captain Blue Balls. Blue Boys. No, no, it's not. Blue Boys. I'm eating a Blue Boys. I'm eating a Blue Boys. I'm eating a Blue Boys. The Lament of Captain Blue Balls. My blood boils with Blue Blood Blue 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 Yes, it is some kind of conformance thing. But they're like you've got a weird art installation thing. Yeah, I'd like to be that. Go on, there's five minutes. You know, two, one minute of the five nice minutes. Art. Oh, five minutes. Blah blah blue blah blue blah blue blah blah blue blah blue blahs. That's all you're getting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo! Right, the choice, pick it up now. Right, the lament of Captain Blue Belt falls. Oh, <laughs> okay, it oh it's Captain Blue Belt! Oh, Blue Belt? Blue Belt! Blue Belt! Blue Belt! Blue Blue Belt! Is that your stage name? Yes, yes. Blue Belt. <laughs> it is. It is now. Right, what facts have you got for us? Probably on, what have you got? I have some... I, just, I love the glasses, by the way. The they're not, they're not cosmetic. Ex expert glasses. They're facts about plums. Plums are the second Plums most and cultivated. Plums chop chopper in one night. Why am cock a hoop? <laughs> Plums are the second most cultivated fruit in the world. Oh, I didn't they know grow that. best in temperate <laughs> climates. Well, the fruit is grown on every continent except Antarctica. Why is that? <laughs> too cold. Eli says it's too cold. Right. But... <laughs> what have you got for us, Mr. Bingo? Well, I, I, I describe this as a, a cinematic nautical shanty, uh, warning of male sexual dysfunction among pirates. Yeah, but he's facts about. Yeah, I do. I've got facts, facts about, about pirates. Poseidon. 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 He's not fake. He is fake. No, he's not. He's big sea he's he's not. Oceans not. Please, deep someone. Wide. What the fuck? What do you mean, what the fuck? He's mean. like a. a just How a, do you not believe in he's Poseidon? Like, because he's like a half fish. Believe in Poseidon. Poseidon. Believe, believe, in Poseidon. believe in Poseidon. Believe in Poseidon. No! <laughs> I refuse! I refuse to believe in Poseidon! Do you believe in Poseidon? <laughs> right. <laughs> So what have you got about oh pirates? Pirates. <laughs> uh, the term pirate originated from the Latin word pirata, which was derived from the Greek word pirates, meaning brigand or sea robber. Hey, sea robber. Sea robber. Um, is this is it the same derivation as a pirata that you get a, a takeaway? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Right. Well, then, no more further ado is to be done. Let us play this track. This is the lament of Captain Blue Balls by Noiseland. Take it away. Just to be clear, you cannot 
achieve male ejaculation. No matter how stiff and hard I get, no matter how much my balls swell with urine, I can't, I can't emit seed. Oh, you look at these. You are look at those big blue plums. Oh, no, I don't know who are. Oh, you think you the same? Am I really here to spawn? Oh, you think you the same? Am I really here to spawn? Oh, you think you the same? Am I really here to spawn? Sleeves and how I don't approve of the length. These, these sleeves. sleeves. Of all my joy. These sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't let Poseidon take your ability to spunk. No. Make sure that when you're on the sea next, never make a pact with Poseidon. You won't get to ejaculate. What did you think of that song? Yeah, I really liked it. Great. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with my drink? Yeah, what are you doing with my drink? <laughs> Drinking it. No, you're not drinking my drink. You've had that gin, you've had the vodka, and I don't know what you've done with the rest of the bloody fucks fizz, but that was for them anyway. Then you were willing to share, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah, 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 yeah. We're having fun. We've got fun. You're having fun. It's no. called fun. 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 You like fun. to look it up in the dictionary? Fun, 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 fun. Come on. No, don't fun. mock me and then give me the... All right, mate, we're only fucking... We are, we're we are. We are, we're only... Well, we? Where are you Paul, 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 you're like this. What? And speaking of fun... Oh, oh yeah, oh, fun all day. Oh, nice oh, that. That's how we are. Shall we have a I'll give you a glimpse of how professional we do. Go ahead. Professional drink. Right, OK, well, thank you for that, Ethan. Funk all Derek is our next track by Morgan Kenning. And I don't know what's going on in fucking experts' corner. My bum hurts. You walk, why don't you walk around you on the track? I hadn't thought of that. Really? No, you're, not, you're not chained there. You're all right to go. My bum hurts here. Well, get, These chairs are do you want to really... stand here and do it for a bit? No, because that was awkward when I stood up there. Well, earlier. then sit down, shut up, and give me a fact on Funkle Derek by Morgan it's a, Kenning. It's a disco boogie. Bo- 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 <laughs> disco boogie. Uh, and the first of two appearances from Derek in tonight's That's true, lineup. Yeah. Uh, I have a couple of Derek facts here. Derek ranks among the top 500 most popular names in the United States. Surprising. And I have a second fact. Yeah. Derek is a relatively easy name to pronounce and spell, which may contribute to its widespread use. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good fact. Do you have any facts right. for us, Sonia? That's a good point. Um, yes, I would just like to say that um, famous Derek's whose name was also Derek include... Derek Okora, spiritual medium. Wanker. Sir Derek George <laughs> Jacoby. Excuse me. Derek Jacoby. 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 Derek
Derek Jacobin. <laughs> Derek Jacobi. British actor on stage and screen. Derek Jacobi. Derek Jacobi. Sanya, it's pronounced Jacobi. That's why they're making fun of you, and it's not funny. Thank you. Paul. And now you know my pain. It hurts every I, time. I feel it. Yeah. yeah. Feel Captain it. Bluebell. <laughs> Derek Bruce Hock. Or Hock. What? what? American what? professional Latin and ballroom dance. Oh. <laughs> Are you going to mention the Derek Bailey? Are you going to mention the, the the most important Derek? Which one? Derek Dick, the links <gasps> the former. Oh my god! I forgot. Berlin, I forgot. Who changed his name to Fish on account of the fact that he didn't want people calling him a dick? <laughs> <laughs> See, I think it's a good idea. Hang on, it didn't work. What? Wasn't that guy on Play School Derek? There was a Derek. Yeah. yeah there was a Mr. Derek. No. <laughs> what? Are you just, are you, are you <laughs> right? Who did Super Derek, Ted? The black guy who was on Derek Place from Place School. Yeah, Derek Griffiths. Thank you. I had sex with his daughter. What? Oh. He's told this story <laughs> That's before gone dark. years At ago. At boarding school. A dark, is it? I saw him with Jonathan Ross and Russell Brown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I dark, you're having sex. Isn't it? It is dark. I it was the guy. The guy. I creep around in the dark. Right, <laughs> he had sex with Derek Griffiths. This. Sanya no. Thorpe. Sanya no, Thorpe. No, Eli didn't. had sex thought... with Derek Griffiths. No. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, that's dark. No, it's so it's not dark. If he wants to have sex with a man, that's fine. I didn't think I can't that. believe you're <laughs> so homophobic. If Eli wants to play away, well, so he can't. He's so homophobic. He's a power bottom. That's so homophobic <laughs> and racist. He is a power bottom. Right, well. What's the next one? Do the red windows. Tom, could you please play Funkle Derek by Harvey Keating quickly, please? Funkle Derek? Funkle Derek. Sitting in my flat in Brookside, watching the evening news. A voice comes on the TV and says there's a tiger on the loose. I get a call off my friend Terry, he says he's in a jam. I grab my coat and leave to see what's happening with him. I turn the corner and get scared, I can't believe my eyes. I got the bed and panic cause I saw the orange black be line. He said she's had a heart attack, a really nasty shock. I open Harry's front door to see a mangled corpse with a big old cock. My name is Derek and my stories are all true. A hundred percent accurate, voracious through and through. My name is Derek and my stories must be told. I'll sell this one to Pfizer cause it's totally solid gold. Walking in a Cairo market, I see a cool antique. I pay half my salary and then I take a peek. A skeleton of donkey, a skeleton of fly. A black saying this with toot and calm and take and by some guy. My whole health uses it and treats, I go to see what's wrong. My blue chocolate colored carpet and her lingerie both gone. I apologize profusely, this was Stuken Campbell's scheme. I open my eyes, I'm relieved that it was all a dream. My name is Derek and my stories are all true. A hundred percent accurate, gracious through and through. My name is Derek and my stories must be told. I'll send them to my nephews cause they're totally solid gold. They didn't thank me for the job. I should have known they were Irish An alien came down, he gave me a mouth bar The paramedic had a heart attack My name is Derek and my stories are bizarre Tigers hoover, alien, sick children in a car My name is Derek and my stories are all true And if you're an estate agent, fuck you no fate now. Right. Oh, and that was Funkle Derek by Morgan Keat Kenning. Woo. Thank you. What a great video. What a great what video. Great dance. Amazing what a, what dance. an arousing video yeah, as well. Sexual. Remember to have a cocktail. Yeah, I can see that, mate, but please go easy. <laughs> what we're, is it? We're, it's not a even, mojito. we're not even halfway through the night. Fuck me. Mojito! You want right. Me to, should I top you up? Please. The next track. That we're doing tonight. What did you think of the track? I oh, really liked it. Thank you. Right, take that marrow, Paul Byrne. What have our experts got to say on that little factoid? You got anything to say? I have 
uh, well, there are two types of, like, two main types of marrow. We have bone marrow, of which we have red and yellow bone marrow. Um, or we have marrow the vegetable. And marrow the vegetable is the mature fruit of certain cucurbita pepo cultivars. It's easy for you to say. Same. <laughs> uh, well, I, I know I'm a judge. Yeah. And I should probably be, uh, what's the word? In Neutral. Neutral. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, I fucking hate this song. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's so mean. So me, what is Paul? Paul, if you're watching, Paul Byrne. Sorry. Only one who writes a song. Only one who singles out. Who writes to put a song about Eli having a wank? It made me feel dirty. The cheap show. Yeah, I know. I don't want to think about that while I'm listening to you. Might have a double meaning. Might, but it might. It might have a double meaning. It doesn't have a double meaning. It's a song about Eli sitting in a corner having a wank. Yeah. I too found it slightly disquieting. Yeah, so you're the one who wanted this to go through to the finals. <laughs> As he finishes the I looked up some facts about masturbation initially, yeah. uh, and then I thought, well, no, I'll ask ChatGPT to come up with some facts about Eli. So, uh, oh, good. Yeah, oh. so I asked ChatGPT to come up with some facts about Eli Silverman, and it said, I'm sorry, but I couldn't find any widely recognized <laughs> or notable information about an individual named Eli Silverman. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> ChatGPT, <laughs> my ass! It's possible that he may not be a public figure. <laughs> Known outside a specific context. Thinking. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> My favourite fact of the night. <laughs> what, about, what about the guy who's a police expert in Miami? Uh, well, yeah, of the what not, about too specific. He's called Eli Silverman. He's written loads of books. Too Chat specific. GTP is a lazy piece of shit. Well, down with the system. Right, in that case, let's go to the track. It is "Take That Marrow" by Paul Byrne. Play. Take that marrow up to guess mark five Shove it in, it makes you feel alive But who's that in the corner watching you with his dinky do? Eli, it's Eli, jacking it to the core Eli, it's Eli, the little man who knows the score no one's mum is safe from his nuzzling grace And vegetables go into ovens There is Eli with his nubbin pre -cum on the floor And not from John but from Eli Slon Eli, it's Eli Jacking it to the core Eli, it's Eli the little man who knows the score No one's mum is safe from his nuzzling grace He has a soft spot for a zucchini Stuck in the oven by a gal in a bikini He adds his own salty finish to each vegetable dish But it's okay cause poor can't eat fish Eli, it's Eli Jacking it to the core Eli, it's Eli, the little man who knows the score. No one's mum is safe from his nuzzling grace. Now it's over and the song is too. Nothing left for little Eli to do. His glistening boobs, all empty and clean. Why is Paul's mum is flicking her bean? Soup into bowls to serve. Are we back? Are we back, mother? Welcome back, that was. Welcome back, everybody. Thank Take you, that marrow. <laughs> Woo! Woo! So we need to do the, um, we need to set up so the for tomorrow then. Okay. Mate, yeah. Can you take that outside? Sorry? Can you take that call outside, please? You said you wanted me on hand. Sorry, sorry. You said you wanted me on hand. Yeah. Yeah, but you're taking a call. Well, we're we're doing the next, can you uh, not? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to my agent. You know, the one that you wanted to, I'm okay. trying to secure you a deal shh, here. Shh, shh. All right, we'll just. All right, no worries. Okay, just, just keep it down. All right, okay. All right, how well? Okay, so we have yeah, so the next saying, song um, is yeah, so you, you ah, returning Victor. Yeah, that would be perfect. Lee Spence is back with a song for 2023 called "The Mayor Requests," and we're very excited to show you that now. Uh, let's go over to our. Experts. Well, I don't fucking care what Tarantino's doing. No, I don't fucking care. He gets on that Zoom or. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, I'm actually going to take this outside. Yeah, Sorry. you're going to take it outside, mate. Fucking take it outside. Take it outside. Take it outside. <sighs> fucking unbelievable. Okay, oh. can you tell us... Oh, no. 
performers. Yeah, well, you pay, you get what you pay for, don't you? So, uh, the mayor of Quest, what have you got for us, experts? Well, I just want to start this by saying that some people in the chat have commented that I was a bit mean about the last song. Uh, and that I had no, no right to say what I said given that my cock was showing. <laughs> I just want to say my main that thing. Was it? <laughs> His what? crow's beak was, was on display that, in that, that video. Uh, what that, do you mean? That shiny, that shiny right? shell suit. It did accept ah, that. yes. You can see but his I, lower nose. I just want to say that, um, you know, with regard to the things that people are saying in the comments, that I didn't stuff anything down there. I've just got a big cock. <laughs> <laughs> were they saying, were they speculating on stuffing? Yeah, well, no, they weren't. I just no, he's, to, he's imagining. I'm just reiterating that it was... Well, <laughs> do you want to talk about the mayor's request? Wood's anniversary. <laughs> yeah. Wood's anniversary. It's well, the anniversary of Wood for these two. It is, isn't it? So maybe he should give it a Wood tonight for their anniversary night. Yes. Don't oh, you think yes. he should? Don't exactly. you think he should? It should what? Give your wife some Wood tonight. Have sex with her. No, I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what that is. Some I don't know what you mean. Some people in the chat have already said that I'd rather be doing that. You might be. We could maybe... <laughs> I might be. We could maybe I might be. We could integrate it into the end of this show. Guys. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Guys, <laughs> vote below if you'd like to see this show end the full live sex act between two beloved YouTubers. We will show it. No, we won't. Yeah, it's this way. It's this way. Uh, All right, okay, cool. Awesome. So, uh, the mayor of Quest, what have you got for us on that? Daniel? My favourite song. Oh. No, I'm not a judge, I'm allowed to You're say not allowed it. To give not that I want no, to You're not allowed to give an opinion for, about the songs because they'll, they'll, they'll tear you apart in the comments. Yeah. Um, like they did me. Oh, well. <laughs> anyway, I. Why do you think I kept my I powder? Think I, uh, I love trees. They mean so much to me. and... I wanted to lay aside my expert hat for this song and what just delve into the symbolic meaning of trees and really how much they bring to us spiritually. Because a lot of people might think we just plant trees for shade or a bit of greenery, but really they can bring us so much more. Like, for example, did you know in Celtic mythology, an apple tree, for example, is a symbol. 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 <laughs> Symbols, symbols. Um, symbols. <laughs> symbols. 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 Come on, get it out. Symbols. So to speak. It's a symbol of, you, of youth and rebirth. All trees um, are. All, all <laughs> trees. All trees are special. The ash tree. God bless you. <laughs> the ash tree. Oh, it's got a female. It's believed has healing qualities. Yeah, it's one of the yeah. trees. Right, well, that's done. Right. Well, 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 well done. Thanks for those. Thank you for that. Oh, thanks. As I, love trees. I mean, you know, Daniel's clearly never listened to trees. two shows before. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the trees are the only other animal other than dogs that can bark. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Do you have any mere facts? Woof. Right, okay. In that case, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to introduce our oh, eighth. Eighth track tonight of ten, The Mayor Request by Lee Spence. Stand to attention for the mayor. The mayor requests the participants of the inhabitants in the protection of the trees. Read the signs all over town. The mayor requests the participants of the inhabitants in the protection of the trees. Penalty, £50 per branch. The council by laws designate this district as a haven from this day. You can walk on all the grass you want and take your bins out twice a day. Drive your sheep through the high street if you have some and fly a kite just where you may. It's easy now they've banned all cars but the mayor requests the participants of the inhabitants in the protection of the trees join the adoption scheme today. The mayor requests the participants of the inhabitants in the protection of the trees. Sign right away, please don't delay. 
I know the trees are why you can no longer live here And why the maze appeasements won't make you stay The trees snapped with rage at taking in our pollution So packed their sticks and moved away We don't know how they managed it, they did it at night time Or how they heard our screams from where they strayed They gave us only one last chance so, the mayor requests the participants of the inhabitants in the protection of the trees because of what happened last time. The mayor requests the participants of the inhabitants in the protection of the trees. We can't hold our breaths on this one. We're back! We're back! Oh! How you bring up the mail requests? <laughs> yeah, the mail requests. The mail requests. Yeah, I liked it. Is there Jim Beam back there? Yeah, yeah, I found some Jim Beam. Oh, I thought yeah. you guys bought this. That's not ours. Oh, that's the fucking guy who we rent this off of. It's Nick. Well, Nick. I've had most of it. I don't know. So. Well, in case he doesn't want to be associated with this shit show, does he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Nick. Right, I'll, I'll that's Nick. We might have to top it up with some apple juice. Or we'll something. put some apple juice in. Yeah. We're gonna have to put a lot of fucking apple juice in that to top it off, and then he's gonna know it's just apple juice. No, he won't. We'll be gone. We'll it be was gone. hidden in a nook. It's not a nook when it's called a shelf and it's on the <laughs> shelf and you take it down it from the shelf. It was a shelfy nook. It, it was, was a nook shelf. 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 Ooh. <laughs> Well, you need to put something somewhere. Nook shelf. Nook shelf. Ooh. Ooh. Right, next ninth track. <laughs> we should have. We should have put a song in. We should have done. <laughs> next year, we'll end. Like, nook shelf. Next year. Yeah, nook, nook shelf. shelf. Uh, Derek, mass meters of meters is our ninth. Track of an ultimate track tonight. An ultimate track of tonight. <laughs> what have you got for us, Experts Corner? Uh, well, what do we want? The meaning of the name Derek or more famous Derek's? I mean, you oh, have well, covered Derek's we've, already. We've, so. we've covered we've Derek, so let's just say let's Derek. Just, let's focus on the meters part, maybe. Well, I didn't, got, I didn't no have meters any facts, facts. meters. you got no meters facts. Oh, oh, okay, give me uh, our last chat, GPT. Oh. Meters facts. Meters <laughs> facts. Meters facts. <laughs> Meters facts. <laughs> well, he's got a big, big noise playing in the Why street. Gonna be a big meters man someday. He's got meters in his hands. hands. That is meant to be. And he puts his hand right down. His right, meters. here we go. <laughs> Okay, I've got it, I've got right, it. Here we go, over the experts call it for meters facts. The meters is the external opening of the urethra in males. Mm. Uh, uh, that's probably are you Are you questioning chat BPT? BPT. BBC. Chat BBC. Chat BBC. Uh, <laughs> you don't think that's true? Well, I think these days it's not just men that can have penises. Oh. oh. But it said um, males rather than men. Uh, I don't, don't really think that. Oh, that's... let's not go there. Ah, let's not go there. Do you want to leave? <laughs> yeah. Do you like to leave? Uh, the like size that, yeah. of the meters can vary among individuals, ranging from small to large openings. So is that it's actual size? Is yours like yes. that? Is your meters opening like that? Yeah, it's kind of like it looks, it looks like, a, like an avocado split it off. Is it possible to fist your meters? <laughs> I thought it was a nickname. What? <laughs> no, I thought it was a nickname. Well, just for people. Hey, Bobby Meters! <laughs> Bobby Meters! Oh, wait, wait, this is important. Oh, here we go. Uh, the Meters is susceptible to infections. Oh, well, I can vouch for that. Also, uh, proper hygiene, including regular cleaning, can help prevent the infections. Wait, so are you saying that doctors, if you went to see one, would call it a Meters? He goes, uh, Jilly, come up here. I've got an inflamed meters. <laughs> what is, what is, what is, what is, what is my doctor Zippy from Rainbow? That's amazing. I'm not Jimmy. I'm not. Can you come in? The meters is inflamed. And it is a, <laughs> can, you imagine, can you imagine if, if Zippy went on to be a gynecologist? <laughs> He's only <laughs> got one hand. <laughs> Straight in. <laughs> Straight <laughs> three fingers, oh. one hand. Then George would do the other hand. I'll hold your legs over. <laughs> <laughs> or bungle watch. Yeah, that's <laughs> under a sheet of cotton. Oh, don't mind him. He's a, he's a student doctor. <laughs> he's a trainer. Bungle 
likes to watch. Oh. Anyway, we're going to now play. Oh. Well, he you does. say that with such authority. No, he does. Jeffrey watches. Sometimes he's watching me. Ooh. Just doing normal things. Bungle's watching me. me. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I feel like a bungle's watching me. <laughs> Can't get no privacy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Derek by Meters of Meters. Take Yay. it away. Lo and behold, what did I find? A huge bass drum. Oh, we're back! Oh, welcome, Derek. Meters of meters. Well done, mate. Round of applause. Have you got any fruit or something? We've got nothing, mate. Don't put that back. Why didn't you bring That's any fruit? I asked for fruit. He did. He, had, he said mango steam, and I told you to get some mango steam. It's hard to locate mango steam. Doctor yeah. Mango Steam, I presume. Look, there's an ice in there. Stick some of that and some more vodka. I'm in. just gonna have a bit of the vodka. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah. you go. Oh, by the way, I like the song. Thank you. It's not what we planned. This is none of this drinking is what we planned. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why anyone thought the new boost appropriate. Right. Now I'm going to perfect. Are we back on? A, yeah, the we're gin back. sting. Eli's icebergs melted. Oh, oh it's manageable now. Only if that had happened. Uh, in you did that over there, ladies and gentlemen. Our final song tonight. The final song of your Envision 2023 is uh, called. The Hot Sauce Rap by Star Night Light. And we're going to go to our experts' corner now and see what they have to say about this particular track. What have we got? Some people may wonder whether having a night light on all night is going to affect your quality of sleep. And scientists seem to think the answer is yes. Because especially oh, if God. the light has when blue light included in it, huh? and you put when it on in the hours leading up to you when you're asleep. Well, or even yeah, while you're asleep, it's going to affect your body's melatonin yeah, sure, production. Get off, get so it might be better to like, just well. get like a yellow based night light or oh, get some there. candles or something. Ah, look at your big bum, baby. Um, <laughs> That's a big one. Okay, you got a big fast. ass. And Remember this, everyone. Paul, I do You remember this, everyone? Look at this, everyone. Do you remember all of that? Do you remember when all of that happened? That wasn't that, wasn't that great? <laughs> I thought I needed to join in there. Uh, now. You know what you, we found happened? out? Sorry, I just want everyone song. to know this. During the break, breaking news happened. Oh, yeah, this was interesting. We found out that Quentin Tarantino has a foot fetish. Allegedly. No, no, allegedly. It's allegedly. Open. I don't give a fuck. Come at me, Tarantino. No, he definitely does. Yeah, he loves it. He, he talks about it. He talks about it. He talks about it. Yeah, yeah. What does he bath. say? He like, says, I love feet. 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 He wanted to call it yeah. Reservoir Shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Pump Fiction. Pump Fiction. Pump Fiction. <laughs> yeah. uh, Jackie Brown's now made jokes. I don't fucking <laughs> shoot Tarantino pun. Inglorious <laughs> platforms. <laughs> yeah. Django uh, unshoes. 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 Yeah, what else? Um, oh, what else he done? Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true romance. 
Uh, oh, that's hateful a good one. Well, Don't fucking laugh at it then, anyone. No one no, did. No, I said that's a good one. Oh, thanks. Yeah, welcome. But you know, intellectually, you just. They're growing some strawberries in the garden. Do you think I could use those? No, they're not for us. That's I would nest. like a daiquiri. There's no daiquiri. No, I'll fix him a daiquiri. He wants a nice out. daiquiri. He did can say I need fresh fruit out, and daiquiri. Sort him out. I'm I'd, I'd just like to say, can we all like appreciate Eli's cocktail no. and. Um, no. Uh, mixer making skills been, this evening for Ethan. I've been really enjoying the cocktails personally. He, he's done a really good, good job, cocktails, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. It's all good. I don't I don't care. Care. I don't and if you like cocktails, you've got we've well, got, got a cocktail up in a coming up for coming you. Coming up in a minute. Right. So we well, enjoy this. Do you have any hot sauce thing? facts? Huh? Do you have any hot sauce facts? Yes. Yeah, right? so we yeah. were given like a oh. box of like thirty hot sauces for Christmas, and we still haven't finished them. Two years ago. Yeah, we not still really haven't finished fact, them. Though, I've got my, it, well, my, fa- my favourite hot sauce which I recommend for everyone at home is Valentina. Oh, it's, uh, it's like sweet. Be um, like, what's your favourite hot sauce? If you had to rank the favourite toss, what would it be? Uh, Tabasco is at number two. No, that's not what I said though. Number one. Oh, that's mm. number one. Mm. Tabasco is number one. Not for me, it's not. No, no. I would go for an El Yacateca Special Reserve. <laughs> yeah, he would. Right. Age special, age, the black yakateka. Yeah, I haven't tried that. It's smoky magic, baby. Smoky magic, baby. Yakateka, baby. Smoky okay. magic, baby. Black yakateka. You know, come on, yakateka with Percy. I, I have to you. say, I was worried that maybe you weren't gonna, you didn't like Tabasco. I love Tabasco. Yeah, yeah like, he's a big fan of Tabasco. Okay, good, good, good. But when someone says, "What's your favourite?" Try not to just mention the second favourite first <laughs> and get to the fucking point. It's known as je ne sais soir, my friends. Je ne sais soir. Not whatever you uh, want. Je ne sais soir. Yes, right. Je ne sais soir. Je ne sais soir. No, 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 uh, that's the best joke she's ever done. <laughs> I'll take it. I think, I, I think psychically, I imagined it came from Eli. I just rejected it outright. <laughs> Sorry. Because, uh, talking of sauce, what's in my little suitcase? You're fucking wrecked, aren't you? What is it? Let's get out of the way before we go to the final song. No, no, no. All right, we'll keep that no, no, fucking no. cliffhanger going. <laughs> right, do you have any hot sauce facts? No, we're moving on. We're going to go to our final track now. It is... The Hot Sauce Wrap by Star Night Light. Take it away! Hey, Yay. cheers! And that's it. That is the final one. Well done, Star Night Light. Woo! Well so done now, to everyone who put a song in this time round. Yeah, even if you didn't get down to the final ten, thank you for getting involved. There were so many tracks that we had to get through. We had to burn them down to ten. These were that ten. We hope you enjoyed them. But now it is time for the judges to make their uh, judgments. I like that one. Votes. I liked that one. Did you? Yeah. 
you didn't ask me this time. I didn't think to. No, you've made up. You've, you've let me down consistently. Of, how have I let you, you down? You how have I let you down? Business calls, fucking drinking, cocktails, lashing it, kicking off. If the agent is watching, like, you know, maybe let's... At this like, point, I don't Hi, give I'm Eli Silverman. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I'm good. Good at stuff. I saw him do a self tape once. It was amazing. Yes. Yeah, sex self tape. <laughs> no, it was, a, it was, what, it was for an advert. Oh, wang. It was for an advert. Was it? Yeah. Yes. What was it? Well, did you get it? Did you get the advert? Because it jumped to Udkid. Did you get the advert? No. Well, then, but there you go. It doesn't matter. Right. So we have now given the songs out into our judges. They're going to be giving them out into them. Oh, Up a shoot. Yes. What? Blow tart. Blow tart. Song tape. Blow tart. Right, well we've lost Eli, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take half an hour now to get all those uh, folks in. We're gonna leave you with something very special. Eli and I, but Eli designed this, made a little video for you to watch to make a nice little cocktail. We're gonna we hope you enjoy this video. We'll see you in about half an hour. Make this cocktail, tell us what you think below. Mwah! Chef's kiss! Go. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hope you're enjoying the show. It's a packed show, isn't it? Ooh. Ooh. It's this a, and that. That's Everything. a spicy show. Stuff happening. I am... F I don't know who's going to win. Do you know I who's going to win? It smells like it's like a dead... It's a dead rabbit smell. It's like a fetid... <laughs> no, I don't want to do this. Come on, don't fake walk out of this video, mate. Don't work Hello, well. everyone. Hope you're enjoying your envision. Fake walk out. We don't know what number that is. 700. We thought we'd do something very special for this uh, edition of the Your Envision Song Contest. And we've invented a whole new drink. Now, you may remember last year we invented a special Your Envision noodle. Uh, we decided that that was a bad idea and we thought we'd go a bit classy this year. Classier show, well, it's, classier cocktail. It's a it's a party, so we would have a drink. Have and a it's drink a party. It's a party. What do you do, Paul? You have a drink, don't what you? What do you got? And then you like you chat up someone that you shouldn't at your office and then you embarrassingly have to go to HR the next day because you said inappropriate things in a drunken stupor. 1997, want their stand-up material back, Paul? They were... Very insistent. They really do want it back. Now, <laughs> no, that was lame. Come on, everyone knows that was lame. Is it? Photocopy your ass. Did you make a joke I about that? I didn't say that. No, I didn't. You did. Hang on. Wait, I just want to point something out. Eli's getting ah, oh, photocopy your ass. How trite. You used to do a video, didn't you, called Office Party Rescue? What was all that about? That had a what was all that about? A clever conceit. You did it. Yes. Yes. No, listen. The ice is melting, my friend. Um, okay. Well, it should have been covered in, in fat. And then it would have been a, a clever confit. <laughs> That's the classiest gag That's I've ever That's terrible. Done. I'm very. Anyway, I've got me pinny on. This is an Estonian traditional pinny. Show him the trouser nice. legs. That's one. That's the other. It came in very handy when I went for a pee just then because like I that? had to spot it, get the old little lad out. <laughs> like, he looked like a sad monk. He looked like a monk. Roy Charlie Brown wants his material back. Does he? You got your chod out. <laughs> I just said I got my penis out. What do you think of my apron? It's got sweet chilli sauce. Oh on. yeah, it's a chilli based apron. What's that, May Ploy? May Ploy. Is that a, 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 it's a big brand? A plan to capture uh, old starlet May West as a kidnapper. Was it a May Ploy? No, it was a an actual. It was a plan to uh, distract someone during the month of May. When you got your willy out and showed it a little child. Is that what you're saying now? <laughs> that's what you thought was funny a minute ago and I don't think it is oh shut your uh, can we build the drink please Paul you've really started to well let's just tell them what it is before we get into the building it because we need to change the camera angle for that don't we dip knob tonight dip knob <laughs> we are going to build for you for the first time ever a world we, premiere cocktail which we are calling the urine vision piss fizz piss fizz now what are the ingredients if people want to make this at a later date? Essentially, it is a, going to be a variation of Tom Collins. Of a Tom Collins. Tom Collins. So, we're going to have soda water, gin, 
That's your basic. Citrus juice and sugar. The sugar will yeah. be in the form of this quite nice um, lemon syrup we have here. And this is the citrus he's talking we about. We pre-juiced lemons. lemons. We pre-juiced the lemons, didn't we? Oh no, and also, as well as the soda water, ah, this is where we're adding a bit of a Grapefruit difference. soda. Now we're going to split this with the water so grapefruit it's not... Grapefruit soda. Yeah. So that, but also, we don't stop there, do we? We don't, we don't stop there. We've also got... We're going to rim the glass. We rim. That's what we're going to do first, Paul. In fact. Yeah. And so we, I've bought this. Uh, it's called Double Duo Dunker. But Why double, are double these sweets? Dunker is two two words. These sweets are fucking converging with sex toys, aren't they? This is like one of those two-headed dildo things. It's two sucky a things. A double peg. Yeah, a double peg. It's a fucking double peg. They shouldn't get off. This is so. That's cool. something. That's I don't like. Double duo. Yeah, double. And that's what duo means as well. It's tautology. So it's, it should be double, double, do, donker. Double, double, dosh, donker. <laughs> if it was called... Dush, the, dush. <laughs> <laughs> if it was called the double dush, that would be amazing. It is now. <laughs> the so we're going to be using the blue Raz. Why did we pick the blue Raz? Because it has a toilet cleaner kind of colour profile. Because here's the other trick. We're not doing it in glasses. No, we've gone full toilet. We're going to... Porcelain bowl... Redison. Redison. Of a toilet. Redolent. What's that word you use? Redolent. Yes, redolent. Redolent of a toilet porcelain. The old crapper. Yes. And um, we're going to be garnishing with some poo-poo paper. <laughs> now explain to them how we'll be doing that. We will be mashing a, f a flake and making a, a cone of the toilet paper. Eli, they don't sell flakes anymore. Silverman. I right, you don't. You don't buy them anymore. <laughs> Yes, you do. I bought one last week. No, you don't. They've just come back out they, again. No, they didn't. They've, They've not only gone anywhere. They've they not have. gone anywhere. You're, the way you fucking see reality is <laughs> sickening and weird. <laughs> fucking odd. Yes, I'm sorry I sicken you. It's Jesus. like the way you reject facts. <laughs> I bought this. Okay. I had one a few weeks ago and I had one a year ago. I know these for a fact, but apparently Eli thinks they just came back to prop up his bullshit conspiracy theory. I didn't say anything. I misremember. Eli 9-11 was an inside job <laughs> Shut up. What a churn the essential oils. And these will be dripped on at the end, won't the they? the baking um, we have, style. These are fucking great, though. This is an orange one. Essence yeah. of orange. And don't they look like those little aftershave things? Nice design on the, uh, the little pluggers. And now here we got a little blue one, which is what, vanilla? Yeah. So a few drops. Just a few. Mixing. They're very potent. Shall we uh, start then? Well, is that everything then? Yeah. So it's, uh, uh, we got that, we got that. Yeah, we're all good to go. In that case, let's cut to the action where you can have a good look at what we're about to make right now. I don't like how single. Ah! <laughs> Kissy, no! Okay, Paul. Now, I'm, right. what we're, we're going gonna to rim the glasses first with our... Um, Rim the glasses. Rim the glasses. We're not in shop. Rim the glasses. Rim the glasses. Rim the glasses. I don't know. Can you not do that? Can you get the... I'm not doing that. What do you want? The chair? I need the double douche. It's just there, you fucking... Now, I got confused because the pink top has the blue, but get... Right. Put it in shop. I swear to God. Put it in shop. I swear to God, if you snatch things out of my fucking hand... I wasn't trying to If you try and snatch things out of my hand one more time, I'll fucking lamp you. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> you can't look into the stop being so confused about everything. Oh, I'm not grabbing it. I'm helping. We're helping each other to make this video. Look, anyway. Don't get it messy. Oh, there you go. Perfect. I'll get a nice amount of that out. It's very tart. I've tried some of this. It's very tart and sour. That's a rough, isn't it? That is so toilety, isn't it? The, uh, very toilety. The is it blue ras? Yeah. Is that what it, does it say blue ras on it, anyway? Yeah. It's strawberry and blue raspberry. How funny how blue ras has come up again. Yes. Once again. Now. It's almost as if it's a staple thing been around for ages, but all of a sudden people have realised. Oh, do you have a knife? No. Why would I have a knife? We need to get the lemon juice on the rims of these. Why can't Stop we just... eating that. I'm just testing it for scientific purposes. Look. Dub, dub, dub. I'm going to grab a knife, okay? Do we all have right. time? Yeah, go for it. I'll keep them amused. Unlikely, but once again. Look, here we go. So look, just so people know, we're going to take these cups. And we're going to just rim one side, just the one side, so we can taste our cocktail with or without the uh, toilet dust, I guess you could call it. The uh, toilet duck dust. Oh, toilet duck dust. Good, isn't it? So we're going to be doing that like that on there in a minute. Toilet duck dust. 
Toilet duck, duck, dush, dush. Close that door. Shut that door. Close that. Shut that door. Bosh, bosh. Right, so here we go. Right, we're going to use the moisture from one of these lemons. Moisture from the cloister. Uh, to adhere no, our, our dust on. Oh, sorry. Snort that. Shouldn't um, snort that. I'm cutting me drugs, Eli. Look. I have actually drugs. seen ketamine that has looked like that kind Look, of. Have you? Yeah, there was this strawberry flavoured stuff as well. It's not good. It's like vape, isn't it? It's like you see all these big hard guys vaping and they all vape strawberry. It's like, how is that cool? Well, how is smoking tobacco cool? How is not? smoking cool? I'll tell you, because I make it cool. <laughs> right, let's just. He's slicing a lemon now. Now we're going to half brim them, aren't yeah. we? Half yeah. Is this happening? Them. Yeah. Right, round there. Round there. Got East to lemons. west. Right, so I hope this works. You do one cup and I'll do the other. Okay. Then. I know you're desperate for the, to do it. I, I love rimming. I love rimming. Don't you, everybody? How's that? It's not very good, is it? Dear, not very good. That's, it'll that's do. fine. It'll do. Pass me my cup. I want to go. I want to go. Give me a Give me a go. Here we go. So now I'm going to rim it. Don't squeeze it too hard because it'll just juice it into know, it. What the fuck, you just want to get the moisture. I know what the fuck. All oh, right, I'm saying. I'm just like Q Q, snooker Q, innit? Right, here we go. So now I'm going to do this. Little fancy moves. He's got more on, but it's a bit messy there. Yeah, but I like that. I like that mess because so to me it looks it says more like toilety. Toilet duck. There's mine. I still quite like mine. That's more right. subtle. That good. Good job. Good Paul. interpretation. Right, I'll get this out of the way get now. This, I'll get it. We're done with that yeah, now. Yeah. All right. Until we need to make the. Um... Stop eating that, you fucking monster! Mm. We're meant to be making a fucking serious. Doesn't drink. mean I can't have fun at the same Stop. time. Stop. Have you put the dush dush away? Dush dush is done. And it's not going to fall all over the floor. Anyway. Dush dush done. What next do you want to do now? Do you want to do the, do you want to do the toilet paper now? You want should to do we that do last? that last? It's up to you, mate. No, we should, do, we should get on with the drink. Yeah, let's get on with the drink. Right, let's get this out of the way. Right, so it. we go for our least expensive, now, usually. That's, let's tell them why you do that, if you haven't said this before. They always say, start with your cheapest ingredients in a cocktail first. So if you make a mistake, you're not wasting a load of gin or fancy vodka or something. So I think I think lemon juice would be our cheapest. Now, why does it say we prepare it in the glass and not, for example, shake it? Well, with an, a traditional Tom Collins, you literally just build it in a highball glass, like a high, uh, you know, just yeah. a, a, a tall glass, essentially. Yeah. yeah. And you would pour all the ingredients over. But we, because we're making two of these, I thought we'd just stir it down a bit, get it just cold. Just stir it down. And then bit. we've got extra ice in here to pour it on top of at the end. Okay, yeah. Paul? Because yeah, you yeah, like yeah. it cold, don't you? I like them cold. So we've got... Just checking the angle, just so we're making sure it's in the, stock. Uh, the, the recipe we looked up for a Tom Collins is gin three to two yes. with the lemon juice. Yeah. So we're going to use 75 centilitres of this twice, because, which is 150 yes. in total. So because, weirdly, right, for some reason, jiggers in this country uh, are in 25 and 50 and whatever it is, rather than 30. They're in 25, yes, because that, I think, is the European, actually... Um, 25. The European standard. And 50. I don't understand that. Because they do ounces in oh, America, uh, which guess. is non-metric. But that's how metric. I've learned cocktails, though, with the ounces. One ounce well, is 30 mil. You yes. know what I mean? It's like, I it mean, kind of works for, in my for head. things like this, I don't think it matters so much. Because basically, we're talking in parts. 25 mil is very close to 30. It's yeah. very close to an ounce. And I'd say, it? we're, we're building you, it in parts anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yes, exactly. So, so, which means ratio to ratio, you can have doing, any amount, can't you? But we're doing two in here. Yeah. Two twenty-fives. We're building two drinks. We well, just use the fifty then. Two fifties. So just no, no two fifties. Two fifties for the lemon. We're using seventy-five centiliters of this twice, one hundred and fifty in total. Right. <laughs> and then we need two parts lemon. Have you got enough lemon then? One hundred and fifty. So what's one hundred and fifty is three. What's two, Paul? Three hundred. No, if one hundred and fifty is three parts, what would two parts be? Hundred parts. Yes, and that's so we're hundred of those. And yes. that's a hundred. Well done. Well, this is a hundred, isn't it? Yeah, a little over, but you never know. Well, let's see, because we well, need let's to put a whole lot in. It's a hundred. We know it. We measure. No, it. it's a bit over. I want to yeah. be. I want to be um, accurate. Exact. So that right. is so fifty. Fifty. One hundred. Should be in. about fifty. Now again, if you're well, there is a bit over. If yeah. you're making a, a little bit over. Yeah. If you're making a single, obviously you half this. Obviously. Or, you know, find your own ratio that works for you. Now, I think this syrup was quite pricey, unfortunately. That's pure lemon. Is that right? Nice, though, yes? <laughs> oh, that's a bracy, bracy yeah, yeah, okay. baby. Oh. What's Ooh. this lemon? I'm having lemon attacks. I'm being assaulted by mouth. Mm. Now, one part this, which would be... 25. Twice, which is 50. So you use one, then. That's a lot, isn't it, for syrup? 
No, it needs it needs that sweetness. No, I guess if we're doubling up, I guess. All right, so that's that's the got syrup. a nice pissy colour as well. Look at it, that's coming along nicely. This nice pissy pissy. Now, now the gin, and then I'll mix it, okay? Yeah. Then I'll stir it. Now, 150 yeah. gin, which is three of those big ones, basically. Yeah. It's a lot of gin. We didn't waste. We're not wasting. Oh gin. wait, when are we doing this? After when it goes in the cup. The, yes. That's right. That tops it up. So these are your toppers when you pour them into the glass. Okay, there's 50. 50. Lots of gin. I hope you're making this at home, especially those under the age of 16. 100. I haven't got the fucking strainer. I've got to go get the strainer. What do you want the strainer for? Oh, yeah. 150, yeah? Yeah. Right. Well, you can you start in. mixing that. And I'll, I'll mix it while you get the strainer. Yeah. Now, this is just making it colder. This is all with... I mean, we're adding... We need to add the ice into the glass as well now, don't yeah. we? So I'm just going to stir this now and bring this and chill this all the way down rather than shaking it, which is a rather aggressive... A brutal affair. So here we are, stirring it down. And I must say, it smells delicious. Weirdly, weirdly, it kind of has a watermelon, grapefruit thing going on. And we're going to add grapefruit at the topper. So it's an, it's a very bracing drink, I think this is going to be. Strainer. Do you think that's cold enough now? Close the door. Uh, I've been stirring it non-stop, yeah. it's pretty chill. So yeah, You've got it chill I'm happy to with the... that. All right, we're going to put extra... I'm going to put ice in the uh, in the glasses now. Yeah, put ice in the glasses now. Just a couple of cubes would be fine. We don't need to measure anything more now, do no. we? Right, here we go. It's just a few. Just a couple. Should we do like th three each? Yeah, yeah, fine. All right, so one. Did you give this a good stir? Yes, two. One, two, three. There we go. That's that done. Right. And what a lovely ice tray this is. Okay. Now I've got these all these ready, and I've got that. Got my Hawthorn strainer. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now, here we go. I'm going to pour the mix out. Nice. This is exciting. Straight over the ice. Now this is going. No, no, no. Only halfway. You reckon? Because you need, need room for the yes. yeah. Do you want to measure the, the fizzy out or just eyeball it? No, we'll do it. We'll measure it, yeah. All right, so that will mean what? The water has to be one part? So 50, so two 25s. I think 25 of the pomelo and 25 actual soda, yeah. All right, okay, cool. May so I we, do these? Sure. Yeah, that's good. Dish. Okay, like I've, I've poured all that up. All that, right. this, it will, literally, the soda will just top this off. And it's a little it? over half, so 25. Two twenty-fives of each, isn't it? Now, and also, Paul, be careful. You don't want to just dump it in because you no, want I to know. keep I the do, fizz. No, I do. I do know that. I know. I only keep the fizz. Pour it. Pour it carefully over. One of those. I'll open this for you. Thank you. Oh, you know what we forgot? Our oils. Maybe. No, I've got them right here. Yeah, but we'll put a drop of each in each. Yeah. There we go. So that's that. And here's the pomelo. Pomelo. The problem I think we're going to have with that is that's going to have a aspartame because it's the light stuff. We'll see. Yeah, but still, I think. It, Nice, anyway. All right. And then the oils. <laughs> I don't know how right. to measure You having the fun? Yeah, I am. I like making cocktails. Now, That's fun, I just it? think we just put one drop of each. So when I was a kid, I used to do this, but with soft drinks. Yeah. You know, a bit of Fanta, a bit of Coke. We'll just put a tiny drop in, I think. Drop, yeah? just a drop, one drop. There we go. Yeah. yeah. It's like those uh, thing, isn't it? I expect this to start you like Calvin Klein or something. You put the vanilla on it. No, and the vanilla one. And I give these a gentle stir. And then give it a gentle once, stir. Once we've added the uh, oils. We can see the little oil bubbles on the surface from the thing. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Now, here we go. Now, all we've got to do Ooh, is taste Oh, there's smells coming them. off these oils, I tell you. Oh, no, we've got to do the toilet paper. Toilet next. paper! So, let's do that. Now, this garnish has not been attempted before, people. Be careful. <laughs> this, this is all wet now. Oh, well, let's use some of the toilet paper. Oh, yeah, handy. <laughs> See, this is also handy. It's a, it's a recipe that also uh, helps you clean the you decks. You hold those cocktails, Paul. Yeah, I got them. Okay, there you go. So now. I'm just going to put these here on the side of the frame. Give me the non-existent flake. <sighs> right, are we still... Yeah, we're still good with it. Right, here we go. You don't need a lot. I'm just going to give you half. And then Paul's going to have the other half because he loves the flake. Oh, stop eating. I'm going to be trying to make... I'm like Anthea Turner. Remember he sold their whole wedding out for an advertising deal with Flake. Is he? Yeah. Oh yeah, and everyone was like, that's not in very good taste. No, because everyone at the wedding eating Flakes, it was shit. <laughs> Were they really? Yeah. Oh god, I'm getting such a strong lemon 
um, orange, and I think, mm. they, I think those oils might completely overwhelm the drink. Paul. We didn't put that much in. I don't think it will affect it that much. Ooh. Right, is that poo poo colour? Yeah. Right, how are we going to get that on our toilet paper? Mm. Well, because we need to do it quickly before. Yeah, I know. Oh. Mm. Right, so take a tea. I want you to take a sheet. Give me a sheet. Two pieces. So they've got some strength. Yeah, you need to give me a two piece. This is double quilted. So here's what I'm going to do for mine. I'm going to just fold it into a square and then I'm just going to roll back on itself here and make a little tube. That's all I'm going to do. Right? And then I am personally just, no, just going to have a little no, bit put of you some of this. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Sorry, yeah. Well, more well, of this. I'm yeah. going to use a little bit of damage. I'm going to go for a more cubic uh, formation. All right. <laughs> Don't lick it. I wonder what it's going to see. Yeah, all right, then, shall I get, a, get the poo poo on here? I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of my lemon on here now. The problem uh, is, is when you mash it up, it goes kind of light. Oh, that doesn't look good. I think that looks all right. For all right. Too. Now, and then you dress dress our toilet drink. Here we go. And look at that. It looks like poo. And then we just pop that on the side <laughs> of the glass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, God. Wait, change the angle. Change the angle. Well, there you go. There are our, your envision. Don't do that. Yeah, For fuck's fine. sake. I have to live here. You spread your filth. Your filth? Just come here to be filthy. Fuck you. Come boy. on, get the other angle. Hang on. Jesus. Oh, God. So here we are, look. Our lovely toilet piss fizz. And I'm looking forward to it. Now, do we keep the garnish in as we drink? Yeah, you have to. You taste it with some of the sherbet. I'm going to do a bit of the sherbet. So here we go. I feel sick already. Happy your envision. Cheers. Let's see. Mm. It does kind of taste like you're drinking toilet cleaner. Oh, oh. Got me bangers oh. and mashing it. Oh, that's nice with the... With the sherbet. Mmm. But don't you think the sherbet actually adds to the kind of Tart. toilet duck elements of it all? Because it's quite artificial. But yeah. yeah, overall it's very citrusy. It's very bright. Is it? Would you want more syrup in there? No, yeah, I'm going to have it without the uh, yeah sherbet because I think the sherbet's bright. Well, that was a good idea for Eli to go half rim, and yeah. so you can taste it both ways. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Well, I'm going to try it without the sherbet. That's nice. It's very synthetically lemon. I think it's kind of the superest lemon drink I've ever had. But it's almost like the gin is completely gone. And it, it just has it's just like gone. an it's got a hooch. It tastes like alcoholic lemonade, doesn't it? A little bit, but there's still a little bit of that gin um, the heat. That the aroma of gin. Is it? In the aftertaste. Yeah, yeah, it does develop I think it develops. I think you get a kind of sweet mm. upfront kind of lemony fake lemon, like a kind of candy chew lemon flavour. Followed by that kind of sour bright lemon. Tang. The deeper, the deeper lemon, the but, sort of more fruity, yeah, more the thing that fruit. sets your tongue off. Well, that's the ju that's the lemon juice. Yeah, and there. then at the end, I think you get the gin at the back yeah, end, that kind of, yeah. uh, the kind of um, petrol you yeah. know what I mean? That kind of alcoholy huff round about That's here. what I mean, the heat. You're getting yeah. more of the heat of the alcohol rather than the taste yeah. of the taste of the With the sherbet, juniper. I would argue, as fun as it is, it, I think it kind of makes it a little bit too much of everything. It kind of exaggerates a lot of the flavour profile going in. Mm. Makes I, I actually quite like that. I have to say that would be lovely on a hot day. Yeah, if you had a hot, hot, if it was a hot day and you're on the in your garden listening to your World War of the Worlds concept album. God, shut up! It's true. Shut though, isn't up! It? It's a beautiful true. relationship. You fucking idiot. Exactly. No, this is cr criticism. <laughs> it's creative criticism. Gonna, Not too much, man. I'm just gonna give it. Wow, Paul. It's only three droplets. That's but that you put that in like a whole batch of cookies or something. You know what I mean? That's why. Who took the cookie from the cookie? It's jar. not bitters. This is actually a baking product. You've oh. really vanilla'd that up, right up. It actually made no difference yeah. at all. It's you can smell it, but you can't taste it. Oh, that's a really nice, refreshing drink. It is nice. Mm. 
What a lovely, refreshing drink. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, we'll put the recipe below in the description. Will we? I can't be fucked. <laughs> I know, so why say it? Just from, you're always just doing this bit back. And then, it's like the record. It's what they say on the TV, though. It's what the, like that Greg on How to Drinks does, doesn't it? He goes, uh, recipe in yeah, the Yeah, that's because below. his whole thing isn't some stupid, abusive comedy thing. Can I clean all this shit up now, that'll No, we have to keep... No. Sorted. So that's the video done for this, then. What? Have you got all the guests? Yeah, well, we'll Sorted. go through it later with the... So we'll go through the list of things we need to do for the show. But songs are picked. The judges said they'll do yes. Do you get um, Ethan? Because I know... Well, we've got Helm. He's doing a video. We've got Suze. She's going to be doing it. Uh, I asked a few other... Did, did you partners. ask Ethan, though? No, yeah, I asked Ethan, and he said he can't send a video, but he's he can make time in his schedule and be there on the night. Okay, cool. So, so he's because obviously you know, so you, he's kind of a big name. He's doing well for himself. You asked him to do that, then, did you? Yeah, I asked Does him he... to uh, come along. And he said but, yes. Yeah, but I said I'd, I'd pay like expenses and like a small fee for him to be there on the night. So don't tell anyone that he's getting a fee. Or okay, anything. well, how much is it? It's a, it's a bit of money because he says basically if he does it he's giving up like his voiceover thing yeah but thing they always something. say that everyone says that he says if, say if that. how much did you pay him I said if we if he could cover Paul how much did you pay him about 800 quid fuck me well it's like it's closer Fucking to 900 hell, with the travel costs and stuff quid. and petrol but I where said did I'd you get 900 quid from well because where we just sorted out the tickets quid? for the other thing I didn't what? have it in our account so um Look, don't fucking tell me. But uh, I used the Digitizer Series 2 Kickstarter money to pay for Ethan. Fucking hell, really? Well, it's like, because Biffo's used... Why have you got that money? Well, because Biffo's asked me sometimes, so like, can I buy props and stuff for the series and cover okay. the camera okay. and stuff? I don't need to know. So he, he sent me, like, his card details, didn't he? So, so I just used that to pay Ethan. <sighs> For the night. Look, it doesn't matter. Know, I just don't, it I doesn't just, matter because no, I'm going to end up paying Biffo back. I just don't know I? how much Ethan adds. You know, he just he adds a lot. You know, he's in the award winning sitcom. Yeah, but it's no one gives a shit about that. He's in Magic that. Mike and all that. No stuff. He's a big name. Yeah, but no one cares about all that who watches us. No, but it's good for us, though, isn't it? It raises it's our good, profile. It raises. I don't know. Nine hundred. Hey, how are you going to put that money back? Where you going to get that money? He's all that fucking good an actor, really. But it's like it's really good for us. It's good to be. I know. Yeah, but. Where, how are we going to give that money back? I'll figure it out. It doesn't matter. I'll figure it out. Maybe right. I'll just give him money for my wage. Fine. Next it's month good that we got I'll... Ethan, I suppose. You know, it's really good that we've got him. But look, listen seriously. Don't tell Biffo. I'll just, I'll just sort it out. I'll get the okay. money back when we next time. I'll get him or something. All right. It's fine. Listen, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's all for the good of the show. All right. Okay. Fine. Um, it's it's no, fine. Don't, don't, worry don't, about don't it. no, don't go. It's fine. You've just stolen an enormous amount of money off me. It's fine. You've stolen it's, by exploiting my wife. I haven't exploited anyone. All right. You manipulated my wife. <clears throat> I haven't. I haven't done anything. It's fine. Eight hundred quid. It's Would not. You? It's not. It was a little bit more than that. It's fine. Just stop what do you mean? It, it was guys, a little bit more. Why is this happening? Stop it. No, stop. Look, we should just, talk we about, about this. this later, please. Well, no, because you've made me look like a prick. I've done nothing of you the sort. You're the one who asked for this money in the first you place. You said you were good for it. Yeah, yeah well, I was. I just, it just doesn't matter. Less than a minute, is it? It doesn't matter. We back. Look, 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 just give me two seconds. We'll get through the just fucking want, judges. Just steal more money off, mate. And get get through the judges. And then we'll just do the fucking episode, all right? And then we can deal with all this later. We'll sort out the cash then. Yeah. Oh. You. I need pain. I need You're not shot. getting paid. I know, I was getting paid out of my money as well.
Oh, hello. Oh, hang on. Shut up. Hello, welcome back hey. to the show. Uh, Your Envision 2023. Uh, that guys. was all the songs. That was a fascinating video uh, with a cocktail. Hope you can make that at home yourself. The piss fizz. The Euro. Your Envision piss fizz. Your oh. Envision piss fizz. So, Cheers, to everyone who's having a drink. So now it's time for the judges. We so, get out of the way of the camera. Fuck off. Yeah, fuck off, Paul. Fuck off, Paul. Right, so we're going to carry on with the judges now. We've got, we've got get uh, the boards out. Eight video judges sending their scores in. We've got boards for this this year. Do you want another drink? Uh, yeah, I'll get my coin in a minute. Do I have to move to put the board yes, out? Yeah, I'll go right. Okay. There. I'll just go to the back, shall right? I? No, you can, whatever. At this point, we've just got to get fucking through this, or I won't go home. Put these on. Put these on. You're not going home to your camera. Oh, go home when you. you we can talk about this later. We can talk about this later. We'll talk about it when I'm ready. No, we can talk about this later. We'll talk about it later. Guys, we can talk about it later. If you want to go, just go. No. It's fine. No, are you talking to me? No, him. Fuck's sake. Right, so. We're now in the part of the show with the judges. They've given us their scores. Now we're going to break down how they have voted. We asked our judges to listen to 10 tracks and then break. Stop walking around! It's really fucking doing my head in. I'll be there taking the, the uh, scores down. So, two points will be awarded to four tracks. Four tracks at the bottom, they get two mm. points mm. each. Mm. Right? Mm. And then three tracks, three tracks will be awarded three points each. No, come, come back again. Explain that a bit at the, bit, the beginning. Three tracks will be awarded three points. By who? By each judge? By has, each judge. Each judge will award the ten songs this way. For the tracks, There's two ten points. songs this way. Mate, ten songs. Are you deliberately doing this right no, now? I'm not deliberately doing anything. Please I'm talking about clarity. Please. We need clarity. They we don't... need some fucking transparency. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, Two points. Yeah. 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 Three yeah. points yeah. will go to yeah. three tracks. Two tracks will get four points, and the top most favourite track of theirs will get five points as the top score. And that's how we've asked them to vote. So we're going to get straight into it. We've got a lot to get through. So I believe our first vote goes to. Um, oh, what does it say on the thing, Tom? Oh, God. Brian. So we're going to go over to Brian now and get Brian's vote. Brian, are you there? Hello. My name is Brian Wecht. I am one half of the comedy band Ninja Sex Party, where I serve as its primary member and keyboardist. I'm one third of the comedy hip hop band Starbomb, and very occasionally, you might know me from the Let's Play channel Game Grumps. Now, I'm back here uh, once again for what feels like the 10th consecutive year as a judge for your envision. And so far, we've seen we've seen some real stuff tonight, some real uh, showstoppers. The entries have been consistent with my expectations. Uh, I've been led to believe that tonight's event is the UK equivalent of what we have uh, here in, in the US, a.k.a. the States. Uh, we call them the Grammys over here. So it's a real honor to be. Uh, a part of what I was told was a very important and illustrious night. Now, without further ado, I do want to move on to my my rankings, the the votes tonight. Um, people, I, I I was very impressed overall. Um, you know, in, in in an event like this, there are no true losers. But if I had to pick four, my bottom four would be the following, and I'm just going to lump these into one genre, which is weird guys talking over beats. And those four songs are The Mayor Requests by Lee Spence, Take That Marrow by Paul Byrne, Fire Inside by Mr. Siegel, and Derek by Meters of Metis, in one of several questionable uh, group names for this evening. Uh, coming in third, my three selections for this, and then here I'll be a little more uh, verbose about what I thought. Uh, in no particular order... We have The Lament of Captain Blue Balls by Noiseland. Uh, my sense was this song might be about uh, male ejaculation or the lack thereof. And I love uh, how that paired with the, the very epic feel. Uh, after that, Funkle Derek by Morgan Kenning. Great lead sound in that, what I would call pseudo space jazz overall. And uh, also in for my picks for third place, Come Round Here by Refried Anal, which are two words that I was forced to say um 
my two choices for second. And this was this was hard. It was hard to pick uh, to to do the stratification between first and second. My two choices for second are the hot sauce wrap by Starlight Light and Runaway by L.J. Goody. Now these two were both great. Uh, Starlight Night. I uh, I love the synth sounds on that song. It was hooked right away, and just a really fun song. I love any song that has the word yummy in it. So you really won me over on that. And uh, Runaway by L.J. Goody, like a funny, that's what the true, real American music, real American vibe on that good, fun kind of uh, road ass thing. And that was almost my top choice, except, except my, cho- my choice for number one, Psycho Billy by Triple Drop International. This song, just awesome. Love the surf rock kind of, you know, Pulp Fiction-y Tarantino vibe. Uh, you know, I, the, the cut we heard was like three, four minutes, but it doesn't get tired at all during that really great motion to it. Great sound. Uh, just a lot of fun overall. So that's my, my pick for number one. Once again, it's been a real honor to be here tonight and, uh, to, to Peter and Elvis. I just want to say thank you so much for having me back as a judge here on your own vision. Right. Cool. Thank you, Brian, for those scores. We've written them down on the board. They are represented. Hi, Danny. How much did you pay him? Nothing. He did it as a favour. Please give it a rest. Right. We're going to go to our next judge now. This guy, he's uh, an actor, performer. He won his own Eurovision night as well. He's decided to get involved this year. So, Frank Lohman, please come in and give us your scores now. Thank you, Frank. Hi. My name is Frank Lohman singer, actor, and officially a BBC Eurovision nerd. Hence, I am so happy that I was asked to judge this line of art history. Now, let me point out that I am very much a lyric person. So um, words mean a lot to me. So here's how I judged. Two points for song number one. Come round here, refried anal. Who do you think I am? Two points for song number three, Fire Inside, Mr. Seagull. Two points for song number six, Runaway, L.J. Goody. I mean, the jury should be out for pure plagiarism. It reminds me of something, that one. Two points for song number seven, Take That Marrow. I do love a marrow. But I have to say, even the word pre-cum in the song could not save it. Three points for song number two, Derek, Meters of Meters. I like a bit of meat. Three points for song number nine, The Lament of Captain Blue Balls. Well, anything that contains the words balls and male ejaculation works perfectly well for me. Three points for song number five, Psycho Billy. Four points for song number four, Funkel Derek, Morgan Kenny. Now this contains the words tiger and cock and Irish. Three of my favourite things. Four points for song number ten. The Mayor Requests Lee Spence. I mean, it's about the protection of trees. What's wrong with that? And finally, my five points go to song number eight. Now, it's called The Hot Sauce Rap. Star Night Light. I like this musically, but mainly, and I find it should frankly be called Frank's Hot Sauce Rap, I love hot sauce. And what's wrong with that? Now, if this has inspired you, (laughs) why shouldn't it? (laughs) If this has inspired you, you can find me pretty much everywhere, either under Frank Lohman, L-O-M-A-N, like, you know, Willie Lohman, Death of a Salesman, um, but still alive, um, or um, Frank underscore Lohman for um, Twitter and Instagram. Have fun. Bye. Oh, and we're back. Hey, hey Frankie, thank you very much. PP um, Vision. What's that mean? <laughs> PP Vision. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Wee <laughs> wee. Oui, oui. Yeah. Right, hey. well, we've added. Do you like music? Wee oui, wee oui, Vision. Move this out the way. Give me that. It's not important, the gin, is it? Concentrate on the score. So, oh, so that's what's important, is it? It is so far. Is that, is that the best you could afford for a, uh, yes, a, it a is. scoring system? All yeah. I could afford. Oh, I'm surprised you couldn't afford like some sort of digital screen. Yeah. The amount of money. No, that's that you what he's talking about. He's talking about getting a. Uh, I bet he was. Yeah, well, guess well, who? He's talking like, about getting a projection. Yeah, well, guess whose fault it was that I had to. Yeah, well, guess whose fault it was that I had to 
to do this, but I could have got a screen. Oh, you're you blaming me now? Well, I'm not blaming you. I'm just saying, you know, you're. Well, if you were hard up for cash, you should have said that. Because well, now I look like a dick. Well, I mean. But yeah, you've made it very awkward, man. Right. Our next contestant is Adam. L- oh, next what contestant. Our next judge is yeah, Adam. Lawson, yeah. Comedian, director, writer. He's in charge of the Weirdos Comedy <laughs> Collective. Oh, I've asked him to do <laughs> some judging, and these are ju- Adam's scores. Go. Hello everyone, my name is Robert Downey Jr. Uh, You may know me from the Iron Man films. Uh, It's a real pleasure to uh, be guest judging your Envision today. Uh, Some incredibly talented entries that I've seen uh, and heard with my ears uh, as I've been resting out here in sunny California. Uh, I'm going to talk you through my scoring of these entries. They're all really, really good. I just want to stress that. Even if some of the entries did cheat a little bit, uh, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, coming in at the four pointers, uh, the four two pointers, uh, the two point tracks. Then I'm going to give four, four, four two points to to these four tracks too. Uh, the first was a blues song, uh, and that was uh, "Run Away." Uh, that song, of course, is a blues song, like those other famous blues songs made famous by. The Blues Brothers or Daniel Bedingfield. Uh, I felt like the song was about like a person traveling somewhere, going somewhere, going to a place, which of course, uh, it was cheating. Um, my other two point track uh, was Funkle Derek uh, by Morgan Kenning. Um, the story was from the perspective of uh, someone called Derek and it was very groovy. I did like that it was pushing the anti estate agent agenda. Uh, which is, of course, cheating. Um, Psycho Billy, which is the name of the song, but also the genre, reminded me of uh, being in all those Robert Rodriguez films. Uh, This one referenced cutting fresh steaks from your thighs. And um, that, of course, is cheating. So that gets two points there. Uh, The Lament of Captain Blue Balls reminded me of the ever popular sea shanty phase from the Internet from several years ago. Uh, and it's about uh, your balls being blue. Uh, unfortunately, I don't like sports, so I have no idea what was going on there. That gets two points. Um, getting uh, sort of higher tier now, uh, and those that are getting uh, the, 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 the three points, the free tracks of three points, I'm giving uh, the Hot Sauce Rap, uh, which is about hot sauce, which I really liked. It reminded me of New Order. That was lovely. Come Round Here by Refried Anal. It was nice. It was sort of like... Uh, Cheap Show Aphex Twin was lovely. Uh, Derek by Meters of Meters. Uh, the instruments were fast and the words were slow. Uh, and it reminded me of the computer game Wipeout, which used to play on set a lot. Uh, a lot of fun. And those tracks getting uh, four points, just two tracks. Fire Inside by Mr. Seagull. This is almost my top place here. It's a narrative about finding comfort in music, sort of anti Billy Joel really nice uh, I like that the lyrics didn't quite scan there it felt like the music and vocals were made separately which is very nice uh, Take That Marrow by Paul Byrne also getting uh, four points there about cooking a, a marrow but uh, definitely more about Eli and it was the only song which rhymed zucchini with bikini which was very nice and of course you've guessed it my top track would have to be The Mayor Request by uh, Lay Spence It was political, it was spiritual, it referenced sheep going through a high street, uh, and it's also about power. In many ways, I saw it as the sequel to uh, Leviathan or Machiavelli's The Prince. Really good work, really good songs, great work, everyone. I'm Robert Downey Jr. Goodbye. Right, Ah, right. Oh, thank you very much, Adam, for your score. They've been added to our Your Envision 2023 scoreboard. It's all kind of close at the moment. I think Who have we got in the lead here, Paul? We've got Hot Sauce Raps taking an early lead. Now Psycho Billy's not too far behind. Funkle Derek not doing too bad. Look at the mayor request on 11. Oh, yeah, the mayor request as well. Behind Hot Sauce Rap at the moment. Returning winner, Lee Spence. Give me the pen a second. Give me the pen. What? All right. There you go, Dave Philpot Philpot. Is that more fun? Mate, is that what you comments want? on the comments. Is that what you want? Uh, you know, the big cock. Is this 
this is what you wanted to do. Is that cool? Is Sorry, that cool? Is that cool? That is not that cool. cool. Is this cool? That was not cool. That wasn't cool. Right, another judge with more scores coming in. And this one is very special. You know you know them as a friend of the channel, Octavius King. But today they are Louis and they're giving their scores. Now, Louis, over to you. Hello, it's Louis or Octi, the guy behind the Octavius King YouTube character. I am going to be doing this for you, Paul, out of character, because even though I do find you tolerable, I actually can't be bothered to get into the costume or the character. I also will occasionally hold up a rat. All right, let's listen to the first track, Come Round Here by a name that I'm not going to say. Okay, no, no, I will not be coming round here and I am very scared to do so. Next, Derek by Meters of Metus. Okay, this one just sounds like the inside of my brain after too many Baileys. So it's nostalgic for me. I'll give that one a three. Next, Fire Inside by Mr. Siegel. Now this one is beautifully out of key and tune despite the use of a vocoder. It's actually quite impressive and charming. Also, the subject matter is very depressing. So I'm gonna give that a three. Next, Funkle Derek by Morning Kenning. Good storytelling, impressed by the inclusion of a completely pointless cock. Therefore, really does remind me of Cheap Show. Gonna give that one three. This is an opinion shared by my rat, Rice Pudding OBE. Number five, Psycho Billy Triple Drop International. Yeah, I'm intimidated by the obvious talent at show here and nearly deflected my own insecurities by giving it a one, but I'm gonna give it a five because it's also incredibly gross and it's put me off eating and I'm on a diet, so that works out quite well, actually. Number six, Run Away by LJ Goody. Yeah, also intimidated by the talent on the show in this one, but it's about maybe shagging, which isn't that gross, so it's not really fitted for Cheap Show, which is the most sexless production to be put on air. So I'm not gonna give that one a five, that one's getting a four. Take That Marrow by Paul Byrne. Okay, yeah, so marrows are already very gross, but the addition of the very strong image of Eli wanking is deeply upsetting. So uh, please take a score of two and fuck you very much for that image. Hot Sauce Wrap by Star Night Lights. Yeah, very important topic that should be wrapped about more. Yeah, I'm gonna give that a four. The Lament of Captain Blue Balls by Noiseloon. Jesus. Guys, please stop with the cum. Give two. Ugh. The Mayor Requests by Lee Spence. Okay, this one sounds like the theme tune from a stop animation kids TV show set in a council office. Please don't give Netflix any ideas. That's a two. Well, cheers for that audio feast. Here's a rat. I've got another one. I've got another rat. Bye. We're back. We're back. Hey! Your envision. Louis, thank you very much. For World domination. Added. Added and look, Psycho Billy's popped ahead. No, 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 still source still, rap. Still source rap, hedging away. But well, Psycho Billy's not too far. Well, Psycho Billy on 15, Fungal Derek doing yeah, good on 12. Everyone's getting a lot of points from all the judges tonight. Tom, who's next on the list? Uh, Ash. Ash, oh yeah. Ash Frith couldn't be here today. Oh well. <laughs> As a result, he uh, sent us a video of his judging. He didn't offer him enough money. No, he was gigging. Did you pay him? No, he was gigging, wasn't he? How, how many people did you pay? I mean, he was the only one who wanted money. So I thought this was going to be like a. It is legit, but come on, mate. Well, no, I just I thought a legit gig. If you, you would think it was. Just be you know. honest with me. We could have worked something out. Look, the point is, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because it's going to go get sorted out. It'll be fine and down. Is it going to be sorted out? Calm the fuck down. Just calm the fuck down. Because people associate like me with you. Yeah, and yeah. you don't. Yeah, and people associate me with you, and you're a fucking load of well, nothing. So who gives a fuck? I'm a load of nothing, but that's better than being fucking some. A thief. I'm a, a thief. I'm not a thief. Thief. I you borrowed Thorny to, you to give to you. Ethan, for and me? I'll pay well, it back us. to you. All right? You'll get it back. Ethan, are you going to give Paul the money to give back to me? Well, no, it's I'm going to give you. through my business account. I, 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 I will pay you, oh, so you back. So you mean like we've been having arguments and stuff? Like, and yeah, it's... and he because he somehow manipulated you. Me. She gave me the god details Happy anyway, and I asked. Thanks. I asked. I Thanks. Oh, so I just dumped everyone else in it as well. Well, it's only on your bus, are you at it? Why not? I wouldn't have put through under a bus. You know what? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go to Ash votes, please. Ash, Ash. Hello, Ash Frith here, ex Fairweather guest host. What a pleasure it is to be here from my South End bunker. Uh, the standard, uh, the the upper end of the bar has been raised magnificently this year. 
Uh, I will say this year, the lower bar has also dropped significantly. It's dropped slightly more, actually. So on average, the quality has dipped, but that's unavoidable. I Come Round Here by Refried Anal. Did enjoy this song. I say that, I've given it the lowest points possible. I liked it. I liked the concept. I really liked the bit where it cuts to Paul breaking it down, sort of explaining the song. I really, I thought that was well done, but a little bit repetitive for my tastes. Two points. Funky Derek from Morgan Kenning. I liked the way that it ended with Fuck You. I enjoyed the fact it was from Derek's point of view. I thought that was very well done. Um, I think you should be pleased with your efforts. Two points. Derek, meet us of meet us. I like this song. It sounded a lot to me like very early Prodigy. That, that's a big tick in my, uh, I said tick, my mind. Um, there was a problem when my wife walked in when I was listening to this and asked if it was me singing. And then all I could hear was me. It sounded like me. And that was very disconcerting because I'm 99.9% .9 sure I didn't sing this song. Two points. Fire Inside by Mr. Seagull. Bold singing, I thought. Really, really bold. Um, I do have the suspicion that Mr. Seagull sang this song before he they had made the tune. Didn't seem to add up, didn't seem to marry up. But that's fine. I enjoyed the singing. Like I say, very, very bold. Two points. Runaway by L.J. Goody. Now this, I thought, sounded a lot like a Noel Gallagher track. Uh, I, unfortunately, find Noel Gallagher incredibly boring. But... I think it had potential. I thought the tune was great and I thought it sounded very professionally done. You've got more to give. This did not stretch you musically and I enjoyed it enough to say that I look forward to your next year's entry because I think that'll go a long way. So three points. The Lament of Captain Blue Balls. Um, I liked the song about the non-smaffing pirate and I enjoyed the sort of pirate references, the double entendres. So congratulations, you get yourself three points. Psycho Billy by Triple Drop International. Brilliant musical production. Sounded really professional, very good musically. Forget about your envision. It's a decent song. Three points. The Hot Sauce Rap by Star Night Light. This was excellent. Really enjoyed it. A big step up here. Um, really good production values. I like the sort of squelchy sound that's going along throughout the song. It was so good. I think this should be a jingle for the actual podcast. Maybe I'll listen again. It's doubtful, but I quite enjoyed it. So, four points. Take That Morgan by Paul Byrne. Very evocative song. I liked how it used things from the podcast. Um, it got a little bit too real. Disconcerting, again as a lot of these are. From my tastes, maybe have a tune before you just start singing. Uh, but I did very much enjoy the song, Shong. So for you, it's four points. The Mayor Requests by Lee Spence, five points. This is a great song, really enjoyed it. It's actually stuck in my head. It's the one song I think that I will repeat. Um, it kind of reminded me of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and I can't explain why. I just like the vibe of it. A real good song. I want to hear more by Lee Spence. Again, if you're knocking this out for your Eurovision, what else are you capable of? Absolutely brilliant. It's my favourite song of the entire Eurovision this year. Um, five points to Lee Spence. What a great song. Oh, we're back. Oh. Hey, thank you very much for that, Ash. Thanks for sending that four-minute video in as opposed to the nine and a half you sent at the original uh, delivery. We snip, version. snip. We yeah, snip, we snip, snip, snip that. Snip, snip that. Snip, snip here. Snip, snip. Snip, snip. Snip, there. snip. Oh. snip, snip. snip, snip. He likes it a big stinky, and we're all suffering, I aren't we? Because I laughed so much. He <laughs> laughed so much, he let off a horrible egg. Eggy... So much more fun off camera. Yeah, it was a lot of fun off camera. It, was you know, let me tell you, everybody, it was yeah. the kind of outside, save it for outside, away from people part. But it came out you kept just because I was laughing. And I don't know what, who is the, who's the real victim here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who, you're right. Is who is you? the real victim? Is it you? I am. I am. With their guts out, or to so have to breathe. It was actually quite it's... bad. I didn't know it was going to be that bad. I knew. Then it was bad. Yeah, we didn't get it. Yeah, we were saying. You didn't get it. You didn't get it. They didn't get it. You got it. I though. got a big mouth. I'm glad you got some. Got Karma. You. Right, we have a few more judges to go. How are they doing though, Paul? 
Uh, I'd say step back, have a look. Hot Sauce Rap still in the lead by the looks of things, but only just Mayor Request not too far behind. Runaway still holding up and Psycho strong. Billy. Psycho Billy, very Psycho strong. Billy Psycho still. Billy, very, very some strong. love in the house with the Psycho Billy. Yeah. But we have more yeah. votes to come, so let's go to the next one. You know him off the old YouTube internet as Shut. Stuart Ashen, but we know him as Ashens. Ashens, give us your points. Hello. I'm Stuart Ashen, and we here at Ashen's Industries take our role as a urine vision judge extremely seriously. Our professional song evaluators undergo a rigorous three-month training program at one of the world's top music institutes. Only then are they allowed to listen to the entries before putting their opinions forward to our patented three-line jury panel, which ensures that the maximum amount of care is employed at all times. Right. Two points to Psycho Billy. Two points to Runaway. Two points to The Mayor Requests. Two points to whatever the one that fell out was, Lament of Captain Blue Balls. Three points to Take That Marrow. Three points to Come Round Here. Three points to Fire Inside. Four points to the hot sauce wrap four points to Derek and five points to what is that I can't read the first bit Funkel Derek there you go right, we're back thank you Stuart for your well thought out and considered voting system but thank you we appreciate it the scores have been added and look look everyone's got scores scores right there. there hot sauce wrap may I request Funkel Derek Psycho Billy all leading the pack at the moment, but we have got a few more votes to come in. And don't forget, we've got Mr. Biffo and Ethan's votes at the end. I'm getting paid for my votes. Mate, let it fucking go for now. Why for now? We're in the middle of a show. Just be a bit professional. And oh, excuse, me. This fucking... <sighs> excuse me. The hypocrisy, man. It's just. Yeah. I'm not even. Fucking... I don't want to. I want to know how it. that fucking footage got in that video. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, clearly he's on my side. Well, no, why would you even fucking put that in anyway? When it was Sometimes I feel to... like people need to know about things. Why? Because this has all just made it a fucking shit show now, hasn't it? It's not. not. It was That's a shit show about. before. It's, well, thank you. But all I was trying to do is put a fucking simple show on. Give By some using my points. money, you f filthy thief. You know what I mean? Ethan might have... Ethan, so we don't have Ethan that. So we don't have Ethan one year. Ethan spent it on, I don't know, drugs. He didn't spend it on drugs. <laughs> See, there's no need to fucking start that off now either. I tell you have what, you actually... Got any, you? Actually, got we're both victims here. Give we're both victims. No, seriously. Well, well, you're, 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 you're a victim. Like, Ethan, like, do you have yeah, actually... Pounds serious questions, off. do you have any... Stop talking about that. It's not appropriate. Well, you, we've got another video to come in. We've got one last video. Serious question. No, we've got two more videos. Fuck me. Right, our next video is from actor and comedian who's recently on the Cheap Show episode with Biffo recently, Paul Putner. He's given up his scores. Putner, are you there? I'm good. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm pretending live. Hello, I'm Paul Putner, and I'm a judge this year on Urine Vision in 2023. Uh, I'd like to say very much for inviting me again. Uh, to the Pappy Fun Club guys. Uh, yeah, so let's begin. My first two points go to Paul Byrne for Take That Marrow. That Eli, Eli one. Um, yeah, it didn't really do it for me, uh, but well done, Paul, uh, nonetheless. Uh, my second two vote goes to uh, Mr. Seagull, Fire Insider. Poignant little number, uh, somewhat in the vein of I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor. Next one was Runaway uh, by LJ Goody. Very good, very accomplished. Um, I like the, uh, the beginning sounds a bit like Blockbuster um, by The Sweet, not Blockbusters with um, Bob Holness, the quiz show from the early 80s. It's for Meters of Metus. I like the name. Uh, it's called Derek. Uh, very good, should have had Foghorns. Yeah, because it did bring me back to the 90s, you know, uh, the 1890s, down on the docks, you'd hear a lot of Foghorns. Really, I could imagine myself, <laughs> Like that down the club. Okay, so we're now into uh, the tier three section of my voting, and it's Funky Derek by Morgan. Morgan, oh fucking hell! 
Morgan Kenny. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, I like the my name is because we've had my name is my name is what? My name is, you know, Eminem. And my name is Prince. My name is Luca, the uh, Susan Vega one. Uh, Triple Drop International Psycho Billy. And it's very Psycho Billy. Yeah, I mean, very accomplished. Excellent, in fact, musicianship. Um, it's got that kind of, uh, you know, Dick Dale. That one. Good use of lyrically with Brussels sprouts. You don't often hear Brussels sprouts. In, in songs, do you? Come round here by a refried anal. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Refried anal. It always has to be reacting like that. You see, someone's at the door now, and I'm in the middle of judging. I'm not, I'm not going to answer it. I'm not going to answer it. The Lament of Captain Blue Balls by Noiseland. Wow, well this was epic. I would have put this at number one. I mean it's the most ambitious uh, number out of all of these and it's a very high standard this year I have to say from everyone, even the ones I gave two points to. My second four pointer goes to the lovely Lee Spence. He's our 21st century Sid Barrett. It, you know he's got that early Pink Floyd, the lovely double track vocals and um, I'd buy his album. So now we come to the five, the big five. And I'm going to award this to the Hot Sauce Rap by Star Night Flight. I think it's that, is it? No, I, I thought it was smashing. What up? Um, have some of this. Put a donk on it and all that caper. And well done, everyone. You've all been amazing. And let's, let's raise a glass of piss to the Urine Vision 2023. Right, thank you very much, Paul Putnam. Now, before we get to our final few votes, it's important that we mention, and I forgot to mention at the top of the show, that the winner of tonight's show will be getting a real prize. And we will be making sure that prize is sent to you not too long after the show will be in touch. And what is that prize? Well, first of all, you can have any merch from any of the cheap show merch shops you want. Tell us what you want. We'll order it for you, sort it out, get it to you, whether that's ours or Boratoni's or whatever. Mwah. Get in touch. We'll sort that out. Choice the second merch. thing is, Mwah. this is the lovely thing. This is the lovely thing. Uh, on Cheap Show, we've had uh, little uh, dollies made, haven't we? Of, um, we have had little dollies made. Grumpy section, uh, no, multi fibbage. Oh, lovely little that. dollies. And that was done by a very creative uh, Twitter follower called Nikki, also known as Crafty Cornfield. And Chef's Kiss. Nikki has brilliantly decided to put together a urine vision trophy for right. us. Yeah. And this is it. I'm going to hold uh, it up because I forgot to add it to our stream deck. But this is what the winner. We'll be getting today the first knitted cheap show. Look at that. Your Envision Trophy 2023. How much did that cost? How much did that cost? cost? Anyway, that's going to the winner. That's going to the winner. Did you pay for the walls? As soon as we can. Uh, with a choice of merch that you need as well. And uh, that's it. So who would that lucky winner be? We're going to find out now. We've got a few more judges. And uh, we've got, I believe... Is it Sue's we've got next? Yeah, Sue's Kempner. Oh, it's exciting. Big name Sue's <laughs> Kempner. That's exciting. She would have done it. For hey, Sue's here. Would she? Would she? Sue's. So, Sue's, give us your vote, this Sue's. Is it. He's Savos at Massa. Okay. I've been. Come on. I've, I've been a Urine Vision judge for a number of years now, um, and I. I would like to say that I'm honoured to be the judge for your Envision 2023, but the reality is there's shit that needs calling out. I thought that by now, Paul would have given me back the 20 pounds that he stole from me. I know he did it. I know that that's what happened. And now I've found out over the past year that it's not just me takes money from to spend on his own projects. So I refuse to judge your Envision 2023 
without at least my 20 pounds being returned to me. Those are the stipulations. Good luck to all the competitors, but you're, you're working with a thief. So you stole from her as well? No, that was a misunderstanding because she said I could borrow it back in the day. And but since you know then, how many, how much, how many of this? How much, how many? Well, look, we were meant to go to Nick's video, but he's not decided to get involved this year either. He Why? Because you didn't pay him. He sent me a message. Hang on, mate. Did you fuck him over? He's just sent me a message now. Hang on. Hello, mate. That was perfect. Oh, so hang on. Oh, that's not him. That's me. The fuck for? I'm not going to be a judge on this year's Eurovision Song Contest. I've done it in the past and I've actually fucking enjoyed it. But this year I'm out because I, I, I'm out because Paul fucking Gannon, I've heard from Sue's that Paul fucking Gannon, yeah, your fucking hero, ladies and gentlemen, your fucking king, yeah, King Paul the fucking third, Paul fucking Gannon has been siphoning off money from, ev yeah, from everyone else's projects and he's been funneling it into his own. He's an absolute fucking reprehensible piece of shit and I'm not going to be fucking involved in this um, a travesty of a, uh, a, 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 a music competition. Right? I, I, don't, I, um, I, I believe in you guys, but I don't believe in Paul. Um, hashtag, I don't believe in Paul. Um, uh, I'm sending my love to Eli. Thanks very much. Right, Thanks, Nick. Love first. to you I'm too. It's not, like, no, it's not like I... No, that thing with Susan's misunderstanding with the whole thing. Because I actually oh, said I could misunderstanding, like misunderstanding. What, what I did with you? Wife. No, what I did with you was completely fucking different. Please just give me a break because you're going to get. Give you a break for why? Because you, 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 you just lie. You just lie. Can we just get through this fucking show? Okay, how do you want that back? Because there's no point. We've had so many arguments and you've got no idea. You come between us. Fifth wedding anniversary. Yeah, what's that? Not in that way. I didn't mean. That's not the time. Not the is that changing as well? Like, I just, I'm just wondering if you're actually. Did you have it? Yeah, where is that money? It's in now. No, no, it's in you got the money to pay it. It's in Ethan's bar. Can you, can you please just give me your votes, please? Can you just give me your votes? <laughs> yeah, but I think you should. I think you should step away for a moment. Right, Eli, can you just take his votes? Can you just add them to the board? I'll step outside for it. No, yeah, I'll step no, outside. Step you outside fucking go. All right. I'll give my votes, but you get out of here. We'll do the fucking... Go on, my money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so angry. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> we need... It's not funny. I'm not laughing, I'm angry. Where are they in here? I've got them in here. Right, I'll, I'll put them up on. in there. Look how battered this is. Can't afford a new one because of you. Yeah, get out. Yeah, get out. Don't start mouthing things at me. Get out, you thief. Dirty thief, you modern day fagin. Right, what are your scores then? In reverse order? Well, any order you like. Mate. Right, Derek Mises of Mises. What's that? And now, what's that? Derek. <laughs> Look at this. It looks like it's like an old timey bicycle horn, but it hasn't even got a bowl to what squeeze it. Get? So I've got to do the noise what myself. Derek. <laughs> Derek. <laughs> Derek. Two points. <laughs> What's the next I'm going to do it after every point to disrupt this show, which I'm ang so angry about it. Uh, come round here. Two points. That's on the other one. <laughs> Fire inside by Mr. Seagull, two points. <laughs> Take that marrow by Paul Burn. <laughs> two points. Why are you doing that noise? <laughs> <laughs> I've explained already. Fuck's sake. I've man. explained that it looks like an old fashioned bicycle horn that hasn't got a bowl. So I've got to do the noise. What was myself. the last one you said? Take that marrow. <laughs> Take that marrow. No bowl. How many points? Two points. I'm doing it in reverse order. Third. Tier three points the next three. Where's Paul gone? Is he um, he's fucked off and good. For good, hopefully. Hopefully he's gone and dug a hole and put himself in it and then filled the hole in, which would be difficult, but I hope that's what he's done. Maybe if he I'm had so some kind of so angry. He's angry. Um, 
Cool. Phone call Derek, three points. I've done that. I think I've done that. Do it again. Aww. I'm not going to give it another Psycho three. Billy, three points. Aww. I'm, I'm persevering with this. I know it's good. gone beyond the point of it being funny, but I'm still doing it. Look, I'm fingering the bulb. Uh -huh. I, like, I like a bit of that finger play. Finger, you like right. to finger your bulb. Uh, next, your next rap. rap. Third tier, three points. Three points for hot sauce rap. Remember when I drew a cock on it? That was a good bit, wasn't it? Uh, Still there. Two points to Runaway by LJ Goody. Uh -huh. One, two. <laughs> Little Jade Goody. Three points. Two Too points. soon. Too soon. She died about ten years ago. Come on, uh, man. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh. Paul's telling me to wrap it up, even though he's not in here. Uh, the mayor requests... <laughs> no, mayor requests everyone's personal favourite in the points. Chip show. Uh, and the lament of catching blue balls, five points. I'm so angry about this whole money thing. Oh. No, no. <laughs> I'm coming in. All right. Paul's back in now. Gone. What did you give five points to? Uh, lament of catching blue balls. I heard it from outside. You were loud. Three, four, right, so five. now he's got one more fucking thing to do. Let's just get this sorted. We need Let's... even scores and then we'll eat that. How, how's it looking in terms of that? It looks. The mayor requests hot sauce wrap 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Right. Okay. Ethan. Please give us your fucking scores for the last ever one. Right. What have you got? Come Peter around here, three points. Come round <gasps> here, two points. And let me have a drink. Where is that? Two points. <laughs> uh, two points to Derek. Not Funko Derek. Derek. Oh, no, where's my thing? Derek. Have you fingered it? Grease. Grease. Like, oh, you want your bowl. Two points. The bowl is uh, fire inside, two points. Fire inside, two points. One, two, yeah. Mayor requests two points. Mayor requests two points. One, two. Are you right, Paul? Funkle Derek, three points. Funkle Derek, three Paul, points. Okay. One, two, three. Fuck off. Uh, run away, three points. Run away, three points. One, Fuck two, off where? What? Three. Uh, Lamented Captain Blue Boy, three points. <laughs> Lamented Captain Blue Boy, three points. One, two, three. Uh, now we're into the four pointers. Psycho yeah. Billy. Psycho Billy gets four. One, two, three, four. Uh, take that, Marrow. Uh, it will be another four points. One, two, three, four. And finally, uh, finally, my five points goes to the hot sauce rack, which is really good. Really thanks, really, Ethan. Really it. Thank you. Yeah, 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 thanks, Ethan. Million dollar man. Yeah, doll it up. Doll it up. Let's fucking do this. So, ladies and gentlemen, I can finally announce the scores for your envision 20, 23, finally. Thank you again to everyone who's helped do this tonight. Tom on tech. I'd like to thank Sulo Sapien for moderating the chat in YouTube tonight. Varatoni for the uh, your envision inspired art that we've used throughout the show. And of course, uh, Crafty Cornfield Nikki for the trophy, the winning prize today. And of course, I'd like to thank everyone who took part, all the judges. And I'd like to thank as well all the people who crafted music, whether you got to the final 10 or you didn't. Thank you. It means a lot that you get involved. But now it's time to rank the top three. And I'm going to rank the top three now. You're going to rank them? I'm going to rank them off. Right. How have we got? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I thought I could do a spunk bit there. Do you want to do a spunk bit there? Yeah, I'm just done with this. I'm fucking checked out. Blip, blip. Spanking on the page. Blah. Right. Joint... Second place, because it's there's three top three, but two ah. and top three. The top no, two, two joint second. Top second joint. Joint second. Second goes to Psycho Billy with thirty points, and the mayor requests. The fucking Lee mayor Spence requests. With thirty yeah. points. So thank you. Well well done, Billy. And so well uh, thank you, you guys. for Lee Spence. Thanks. But the winner, we have an astonishing thirty-seven points this year, is the hot sauce wrap. By Star Night Light, well done. Yay! That is going to be a great way to fight Bell in the week, and we'll sort out that yeah. prize for you. Wait, just wait a second. Oh, what a great show. Can we just stop this now? What right, a great show. Right, before you fucking kick off. I just want to make sure we can get out of it. So we're going to end the show tonight by um, playing out that winning track again one last time. Thank you so much. Please. And please, please. enjoy please. the... Enjoy what the... What a great Enjoy show. the hot sauce wrap. What a... What a... Stop it. What a... What a... Price. Why don't you just fuck off? Why don't you just fuck off? Mate.
serious. No, no, stop it. Stop it. No, there's no need for that. There's no need for it. Don't tell it. Stop it. Stop it. Why are you wrong? Ah. 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 
Stay here. Just don't want to go out. You have to. They're gone. You can't go and wait for me though. You know, I'm not going to be waiting for you. Come on, mate. Just want to go home. Look, I did five minutes. Just get your shit together. Get yourself together. I'll do it. It gives me time to show people what's in the. Uh... No, you. Listen, just fucking wait a second. Yeah, you are. You're gonna get up. Oh. For fuck's sake. So I've got two new sauces from McDonald's. You've got the uh, the creamy ranch on the right there. Nice, I tried it. And then the chipotle mayo. It's a really unsettling cover, a cut colour. The cover's fine on both of these, but it's the colour, it's a, it's a sort of diarrhea-y colour. It's kind of, it's like toffee. It looks like toffee. It's spicy toffee. Paul, come on, mate. All right, let's go. All right, come on. Give me your hands. Come on. Do you help protect me? Yes. Protect me from that. 